Damn Moda! A sharp roar sounded, and the huge figure regained its footing. Charlotte Linlin roared out step by step amidst the blown smoke and dust, causing the ground to tremble from time to time. But it was even more surprising than the previous repulsion. Charlotte Linlin, who was known as a natural destroyer and a steel balloon, had cut scars under the skin of her hands, from which blood dripped conspicuously. As expected of a steel balloon, my attack just now, even if it was Kaido, should have left quite a few scars. Mo Dit looked at Charlotte Linlin who had entered into a rage. On your body, there is only such a gap. The spear of Albaf Waiguo, without answering Moda, Charlotte Linlin burst out drinking. Laugh. Following Charlotte Linlin's attack, the surrounding, one, two, three, air seemed to freeze, and a terrifying force emerged from Napoleon. The surrounding tens of meters of air seemed to be pulled away at this moment, gathered at Napoleon, and turned into a giant sword wave with terrifying power, with an extremely wide range and extremely fast speed, with a suffocating momentum. It's coming. Mo de flickered, and everything in the previous position was wiped out by the sword wave in an instant, turning into a wasteland with undulating waves. Damn it, even Waiguo has used it, so Cake Island will be destroyed in the hands of the two fighting. Katakori shouted with an ugly face. The guests have already arranged to leave this area, but what about this island, Katakori? Perispero walked to his younger brother. In this situation, his think tank has nothing to do. Katakori clenched his fists tightly, but there was nothing he could do. Obviously, she has used her mother's ability to stop the opponent's lion fruit, but she didn't expect that the strength of the opponent's sword skill hockey can also force her mother into this berserk state. They have only been in the sea for only a few years, but now it seems that they underestimated each other. The only way is to let mom defeat Moda, and then use Wanokuni to make up for the possible losses of this island is planned. Katakori stared at the two of them. Boom. Another mighty blast blasted out, the ground couldn't bear such a collision at all, it exploded and shattered in an instant. Among the flying dust, Charlotte Linlin shouted angrily, Moda, aren't you very capable? Why do you want to dodge my old lady's attack? Moda didn't even bother to answer this kind of question. Even blocking this kind of slash, which is unique to the power of giants, would take a lot of strength. Moda has no reason to try it in this state. The land on this island is all controlled by the soul. When Moda activates his ability, he flies directly into the air. Don't try to escape. Seeing this, Charlotte Linlin shouted. Thundercloud Zeus swelled rapidly until he could bear his huge side, and then flew towards Moda in hot pursuit. I have no intention of running away. Moda slashed through the roaring thunder with a sword. I have to say, your soul endowment is indeed beyond my expectations, but my confidence in coming here alone is more than just that. Hum. In the next moment, the sea surface under Moda's feet suddenly showed a tendency to skyrocket. Boom. Uncontrollably. The seawater was forcibly floated into the sky, like a world destroying flood falling from the sky, turning into a huge dragon headed evil beast, standing next to Moda, staring at Charlotte Linlin covetously. Although she was in a rage, she was not completely insane like Cravings, she had also seen the old golden lion use this move. But the problem is not this, but being able to use this kind of move, there is no doubt that the Moda in front of him has crossed the threshold of Devil Fruit Awakening. The Great Swordsman's Sword Skills, Conqueror's Entanglement, the Top 2 Color Hockey, and Fruit Awakening, doesn't this mean that the Moda in front of me has indeed reached the level of her top powerhouse? Since he got Golden Lion's Devil Fruit, it's only been a few years? He was extremely astonished in his heart, but he did not dare to neglect this move. The combined skill of lightning, flame and sword, the dazzling lightning sword, was held in Charlotte Linlin's hands again. Give me a step further. The white light ball flew out of Charlotte Linlin's hand, and then merged into the Ming lightsaber in his hand. This time, it blessed all the reserved souls in Wang Guo. The shape of the lightning sword swelled instantly, flames and thunder wrapped around the sword, and then another mighty move was launched, the terrifying slash, under the blessing of thunder and fire, smashed and exploded thousands of meters of sea current. Excluding the transpired water droplets, there are huge ocean currents stretching for several kilometers, and each blow directly wipes away more than half of them. But the sea in this world is inexhaustible, Moda raised his hand at will, and the seawater was once again controlled in the air by Moda's will. Mother visiting Pao 3000 miles, Charlotte Linlin manipulated the Ming lightsaber, 
slashed several giant soul women directly in front, and attacked Moda violently in four directions, front, back, left, and right. Seeing this, Moda raised the red Sakura, condensing streams of seawater at the tip of the sword, and then compressed like sword energy, blasting out in the form of a water laser cannon. However, the water column of several meters suddenly increased at the moment of blasting, just like the gap between the stream and the sea, and a huge waterfall of hundreds of meters, struck towards Charlotte Linlin. Under the impact of the sea current, the four soul women were directly submerged by the waterfall, turning into souls and floating away. Charlotte Linlin's pupils shrank sharply, and in desperation, she used her soul life to make her body shape and aura continue to climb, catching up with the giants. The same is true for the scale, as well as the Ming lightsaber in his hand. Charlotte Linlin held up the lightsaber in her hand, aiming at the impacting waterfall sea pillar, light cannon. The blade now becomes a light cannon, and a dazzling beam hits Moda's attack. Soon, the strength gained by consuming one's own lifespan abruptly crushed several tsunamis. With the momentum of a terrifying giant, Charlotte Linlin looked directly at Moda. You guy, are you actually a double fruit ability user? Didn't you know that during Impel Down, besides the Golden Lion, I also dealt with Berndi Valdo. As Moda said, with a wave of his right hand, Lion Fruit's ability was activated immediately, and the small island before flew towards Moda immediately. Although this Momo fruit has not yet awakened, it should be enough to deal with you. When the palm touched this small island, the land that was originally no more than tens of meters suddenly magnified a hundred times to the highest level. With a huge island of nearly 10,000 meters, the shadow shrouded all the central areas of Cake Island. Moda has already figured out Charlotte Linlin's soul offset method. Even in seawater, Charlotte Linlin could also use her soul to control the natural disaster of the tsunami, but obviously, she didn't make such a move just now. Not only the facts, but also the information that came from knowledge and knowledge. Charlotte Linlin could not use her soul to gain control of Piao Piao's ability when she possessed Piao Piao's ability first. So. Whoop. Moda bent his finger, and the huge island immediately lost its ability to bless, and fell towards the cake island. Seeing this, the residents on the island knelt down and hugged their heads, crying unacceptably as if witnessing the end of the world. Don't even think about it. Moda. Charlotte Linlin yelled angrily, and climbed up again after consuming her soul. Holding the lightning sword in her hand, she slashed aggressively and caught up with the island that landed at a terrifying speed. Waiguo. Giant's famous stunts, the strength enough to split the sea, plus the terrifying power of Charlotte Linlin, and the blessings of various souls. The 10,000 meter island was directly cut in half. There are large and small scattered pieces, but they turned into meteorites and fell towards the Cake City together. Soul. Block me. Under Charlotte Linlin's furious roar, the soul soul fruit exploded and awakened directly. The souls attached to the Cake Island, all kinds of tea sets, flowers and plants, homeless soldiers, and even the residents of the Cake Island, all appeared white fluorescent spheres, quickly. Air Minister. Immediately afterwards, a huge soul barrier was formed and soared up. As long as it was not a one time heavy blow, the weird soul power just forcibly resisted the falling of countless meteorite groups. At the IWC home court, the most indispensable thing is the soul power deployed by Charlotte Linlin. Sure enough, the fall of an island of this level is no different from a terrible natural disaster to ordinary people, but to the emperor of the sea, it is still a large target that can be destroyed. If the Momo fruit is also awakened, Moda can use these fragments to assimilate into several times the real meteorite group, and even add the kinetic energy and speed after the fall to carry out a second large-scale natural disaster. Even, he might be able to turn the Admiral Islands into continent-level multipliers. That kind of huge, accelerated descent speed, even the Cake Island, can be easily crushed. He didn't believe that Charlotte Linlin's soul ability could reach an island that could be called a continental level. It's just that when he is truly at the level of a great swordsman, what he can achieve is only the awakening of lion fruit, which may also be related to the degree of use. Before the Momo fruit has yet awakened, the island is already at its limit to reach 10,000 meters. No matter if it is a larger island, it is the same. It seems that there is still a bottleneck before breaking through the rules of doing whatever you want. Moda knows that the difference is awakening. But even if the Momo fruit has not yet awakened, Moda still dares to come alone to fight Charlotte Linlin based on Piao Piao's awakening and current strength changes. 
The soul blocks the meteorite. When using the awakened soul to control and block this attack, Charlotte Linlin's pupils instantly shrank into dangerous pinstripes, but when she turned her head to look at Moda, her complexion changed drastically. I knew that that kind of attack is not too difficult for old monsters like you to parry. Why do you think I'm not angry? Moda in front of him, the red Sakura in his hand has exploded into a long sword of hundreds of meters without knowing when it started, and all kinds of sword powers are wrapped around the sword body, it is already held high above the sky, and it suddenly falls towards Charlotte Linlin. The giant island just now is a blindfold, Charlotte Linlin was horrified. With the blessing of Momo fruit, even if it is turned into a giant sword, the incoming attack will not appear slow due to inertia, just like the normal speed of swinging a sword. In the blink of an eye, the terrifying slash wave attack has already approached Charlotte Linlin. Moda. Charlotte Linlin can't retreat at all, the soul barrier can't resist this kind of attack, and the cake island behind her will be directly destroyed in two by this terrifying slash wave, which has her decades of painstaking efforts. Charlotte Linlin screamed strangely, holding the sword in both hands, Hockey poured all her strength into the light sword, and the black lightning jumped, and the flames became even more surging. And following Charlotte Linlin's movements, a terrifying aura emanated from her body, like countless souls around her, beginning to cling purposefully around Charlotte Linlin. That not only consumes Charlotte's own soul, but also a large amount of soul power collected from Wang Guo. Hakoku. Charlotte Linlin just roared and swung her sword, which is the real combat technique of the giants, and compared to Waiguo, both in terms of attack and range, it is several times stronger. Boom. In midair, two huge attacks collided. In an instant, like the center of the eye of a typhoon, the surrounding violent airwaves rushed, and the entire sea under the two of them was constantly retreating backwards. On Cake Island, even if it is far away, countless towns and houses have been blown to collapse. The sharp whistling sound in the air didn't stop at all. The giant sword entwined with blood-colored sword momentum collided with the white sword entwined with thunderous flames. As if it was the end of the world, the earth shattered, the sky howled, and the sea was far away because of fear. Moda held his breath and held the sword in both hands. This was the first time he had such a huge hockey infusion, and he could also feel the terrifying impact of the opponent Hakoku. The two sides are constantly anxious. In other places, Charlotte Linlin may still have the advantage, but in the competition of swordsmanship, how can they compare with Moda who has been promoted to the great swordsman? It is power, under the blessing of Momo, he is completely unafraid of the unborn destroyers unendowed. Therefore, Charlotte Linlin was still forced to bend back slowly, and the thundercloud under her feet began to shrink, not to mention that she had to allocate her soul power to deal with the floating seawater. As if anticipating something, Charlotte Linlin's hands were shaking, and the Ming lightsaber was also howling. Finally, the red Sakura overwhelmed the Ming lightsaber, and the terrifying slash immediately exploded. Moda was instantly swept away by the aftermath, and the veins in his hands swelled up, and blood burst out immediately. Flying upside down, fortunately with Momo's blessing, he stabilized his figure just now. The even bigger attack fell on Charlotte Linlin, who was fully defended by Hockey, and directly blasted her back to Cake Island, like sparks hitting the earth, collapsing a large amount of land and bringing up smoke all over the sky. It seems that we also need to plan for that fairy bean. Moda also took back his ability somewhat pantingly, this was the first battle he had spent so much since Kaido's fight. Although it has always been dominant, it took more effort than Charlotte Linlin, who was originally a monster, to re-turn into a normal-sized red Sakura and hold it in his hand. The color of knowledge and knowledge immediately turned downwards to perceive Charlotte Linlin's position, as expected like the one in the middle, the old woman is still standing tenaciously. It's just this bombardment, but it's not enough to make this one of the pinnacles of the sea fall completely. The smoke and dust dissipated, and in the ruins, Charlotte Linlin was exposed with a large amount of blood gushing from the corner of her mouth. The giantization that consumed the soul had also receded. At this time, she was using the remaining soul accumulation to continuously give soul to the wounded body. Have a therapeutic effect. This soul-consuming recovery is not inferior to Zone's powerful healing ability after awakening especially under the assimilation usage after awakening. The shattered bones and hideous wounds all slowly healed under this. But this is the soul that she has collected from Wan Guo for nearly ten years, and now it has lost more than half, and she is betting on the loss of her five years of life. Moda. 
The roar that almost gnawed its teeth resounded over the already dilapidated island. What? Want to keep fighting? Charlotte Linlin. Moda was also standing in the sky, and Charlotte's children immediately took out their weapons and stood around Charlotte Linlin, as if they were human shields. As his voice fell, the momentum on his body continued to rise, which proved that the previous consumption was not to the point where he could not fight. The same is true for Charlotte Linlin, as long as she is not killed by a single blow, or prepared for a long-term continuous battle, she can use her soul power to continue fighting. Existences at the level of the Emperor of the Sea are all monster level in physique. Even if they seem to have only one breath left, the energy that explodes at the end cannot be underestimated. Just like in the original book, if it weren't for Charlotte Linlin's fall into the explosives vault and the situation of the Soul Reserve, Luo and Kid would be hard to say. Although not afraid of this, Moda is already ready to stop. The balance of interests in his heart has reached the level he wants most. His purpose was only to fight Charlotte Linlin to open up the situation in New World. For Charlotte Linlin, it's not that she doesn't have the heart to kill. He is very envious of the power of the Toto Land Sea area and the nations, but it is not yet his peak moment. If he wants to completely defeat Charlotte Linlin, he can do it if he is confident in a deadly battle. However, the subsequent full benefits may not be guaranteed. Now his forces and the forces he has won have not fully grown up yet, and what's more, there are not only pirates but also the marine world government who are eyeing all nations. Even if it is only possible, it is impossible for him to implement it without complete and 100% conditions. After all, this is 10,000 nations. It also includes the Charlotte family, which has its own characteristics in terms of strength, ability, and appearance. Watching Moda's rising momentum, Charlotte Linlin, who was still very angry, fell silent. It can be said that Moda has proved with actual actions that he is now a powerful enemy not weaker than himself, and the sense of oppression he brings is even far greater than that of the Golden Lion. Fighting against her is not sure, she still has her own lifespan of several decades, coupled with the high-strength souls of Cake Island and even her children, she may not be able to deal with Moda, but she can succeed, not to mention that her own side is attrition too much. Families and countries that have been cultivated so hard for decades will be destroyed once. That's why Charlotte Linlin and Whitebeard didn't have a real fight to the death before becoming the double queen. She had a hard time getting to her current status and power. But if she just let the other party go, she, the Emperor of the Sea who initiated the Tea Party, would be completely slapped in the face by New World. Charlotte Linlin's silence, Moda can feel the hesitant thoughts in her heart. He didn't say it clearly, but showed a smile of thanking the hospitality. It was really a hearty battle. Thank you for the tea session hospitality. In the future, I may have a pleasant experience with your Wang Guo. The taunting words fell, and Moda was unstopped, flying away from the Cake Island. Looking at the figure of Moda going away in the sea, Charlotte Linlin felt that there was a volcano in her chest that was about to erupt but had nowhere to vent. The incomparable anger and incomparable discomfort caused Charlotte Linlin's face to become distorted as it was more than ten years later. Moda's name was once again resounded over the cake island by her angry roar. And all the melon-eating people who witnessed the whole process can be said to be shocked, and they all looked at each other speechlessly. Except for Charlotte Linlin's angry roar, there was a dead silence in the arena. Panic, shock, joy, fear all kinds of emotions. Mom. Katakori also had a bad face, but he still quickly acted as a temporary agent ordering his family to appease the guests, and at the same time control the Cake Island. Obviously restricted Moda's control over the Wan Guo Islands according to the plan, but after all, he did not expect that his mother's strength did not kill Moda, that was suppressed by the contract with Fang Yin. If there is a problem with this most critical link, the planning of this tea party will be completely lost. Of course, the reason for Katakori's bad face is also the terrifying speed at which the opponent's strength grows. He is obviously younger than himself, and six or seven years ago, he was just a small prison guard, but now he has grown to be able to compete with his mother the point. Morgan's hands had turned into speed, and he was writing quickly in the notebook, his face was full of excitement, obviously because of the huge news that could be unearthed this time. Looking at Moda's disappearing figure, Stussy couldn't help swallowing secretly, she knew the plan of the world government. In that plan, the move to use the sea to oppress Moda to become a Shichibukai can be said to have completely failed, and as today passes, the killing of the third emperor will surely turn into a shocking fact that will affect everyone through the sea. 
The battle that soon took place on Cake Island was finally fermented overnight. From the dawn of the next day, it spread to all parts of the world through the intelligence networks of major forces and newspaper offices. The speed at which the news appeared in the newspapers this time can be said to be quite fast. After all, most of the underground emperor and personnel from various forces participated in this tea party, not to mention the head of the World Economic News, but it was at the time of the incident. Cake Island. It can be said that originally these people, including the planners of the BIGMOM pirates, originally wanted to use the background of these forces to announce the news of Mom's complete recovery of Moda to the sea. The situation where the opponent is building momentum. It is precisely because of this that the information in this headline is also extremely detailed, not only spending a lot of space to explain the cause, effect and final outcome of the entire war, but also accompanied by many first-hand high-definition photos taken. There are too many shocking messages in these photos. There are scenes where the big pirate Charlotte Linlin was knocked into the air, injured, bleeding, etc., and there is also the terrifying battle between Charlotte Linlin and Moda. The former's soul giantization, light sword, hakoku and other attacks, the latter's great sword skills, the terrifying seawater controlled by lion fruit, and the most shocking double fruit ability. Finally, it ends with the collision of the two people under the horror of ultimate, and some devastated photos of Cake Island, which illustrate the intensity of the battle and the result. All of a sudden, the whole world is completely shocked by it. Who is Charlotte Linlin? She has been famous for decades, the real top monster in the sea, the strongest woman in the world, and the famous pirate emperor. It took only a few years for Moda to venture into the sea, and he became the winner of this eye-catching battle. The man of the day really took a leap in this battle and became the third emperor of the sea in New World, which no one can deny. Moreover, his terrifying double devil fruit ability is not only the real reason why he killed two big pirates in Impelled Down, but also the first person in history breaking everyone's understanding, and pushing his terrifying strength to the top a new level. Some even say that he is the most likely to replace Whitebeard in the future and become the strongest man in the world. And what kind of horror concept is Momoga fluttering? That is the arrival of an archipelago even more devastating than the Golden Lion. Even, Moda was directly pointed out by the newspaper, becoming the second powerful existence besides Whitebeard with the power to destroy the world. For a while, Moda became the most popular in New World, attracting the attention of countless people who went overseas. The situation in New World is almost obvious nowadays. Only by relying on a powerful existence can they develop and live in New World safely. Looking at Moda, who has climbed to the top of the Pirate Emperor at such a young age, it can be said that the vast majority of people have focused their attention on harmony. Just a day later, Charlotte Linlin, whose injuries were basically intact, held the newspaper between her teeth. What kind of ending is this, and these bullshit photos? It's as if my old lady lost. I really want to go on like this, the person who will die will definitely be that guy Moda. This group of people will use these methods for the popularity of the news. Perispero who was beside him immediately shook his body and said quickly, next time we have a tea meeting, I must let my mother teach that bastard Morgans a lesson. Humph. Charlotte Linlin snorted coldly but she didn't continue to manipulate the newspaper incident, but burned it clean with a fire, and the light circulated on Katakori and several family members. Naval Headquarters, Marineford. In the office at the top of the fortress, Sangoku flipped through the newspaper in his hand and threw it back on the desk in front of him, his expression extremely ugly. The world government's plan fell through, and the other party is completely stepping on BIGMOM, becoming another huge threat to New World. No way. Sitting opposite him is Marine Staff Officer Crane. At this moment, he also looked helpless, rubbing his temples and saying. The scale of the battle that broke out on Cake Island is really amazing, and it is really unexpected that Moda has grown to this point in just a few years. Our previous guesses, everything is correct, but it is also true unexpectedly, apart from the Golden Lion, the opponent even Burndy Waldo's ability is controlled by the opponent. The punk hazard incident, it seems that I can only be dumb and eat yellow lotus, I can't tell the pain. The great swordsman, the tricky double fruit, and the ability of Piao Piao and Momo that can bring huge effects in the hands of the strong. Behind all actions, there is premeditation, it's just a double fruit, or the unprecedented incident. Sangoku said Kaido in a deep voice, then turned to look at Kazaru aside, Perusalino, how is this battle compared to what the newspapers say? 
In order to prevent the alliance between BIGMOM and MODA, Marine sent Peluzzolino, an admiral candidate, as an observer, and secretly went to the Tea Party to wait for the opportunity. To be honest, it's really scary, the battle between the emperors. Peluzzolino leaned back on the chair, and his expression was relatively apprehensive. That battle was similar to the situation in the newspaper, but what I saw with my own eyes was even more different, especially the constant confrontation of the conquerors. When I can control the seawater, I know the mission is over. Peluzzolino explained, and also explained why he didn't make a move. After all, if he didn't bring help, he, the marine, would probably become the target of the opponent's immediate fire. Sengoku nodded slightly, and after pushing his glasses, he said with a complicated expression, It seems that the next development of Moda may be difficult to stop. Naval headquarters is built in a position that is close to Mariajoy, and New World is not a place where Marine can send troops on a large scale for the time being. Otherwise, that sea area would not be considered as the true paradise of pirates. In the New World where monsters roam freely, Marine's power is limited after all. Maybe we don't have to worry too much, Peluzzolino on the side said indifferently, with a look of great wisdom and foolishness. No matter what name Moda makes in New World, the sea area is always the same size. If his family dominates, it will inevitably cause dissatisfaction among other forces. Isn't New World now a time for the Emperor to contend? Instead of worrying about Moda, you might as well worry about that Whitebeard guy. You bastard. Sengoku subconsciously wanted to reprimand. But after reacting, he felt that this remark was not unreasonable. It was difficult for New World and Marine to reach out, but it also showed that the other party could only be confined to New World. Fortunately, Crane saw something and rescued Sengoku. Although what you said is good, we should treat the world's harmful elements equally, no matter what degree they are, not to mention that Moda has become a big shot in New World at such an age. Must be treated very seriously. No one wants to, there will be another rocks in the future. As soon as Crane's words came out, there was a sudden silence in the field, even if it was New World, becoming the dominant pirate in that place would have the power to endanger the government's rule. After a while, Sengoku continued to speak. Then pay extra attention to the movements of that guy Moda, and let some personnel bury themselves in Wanokuni. If there is any major incident, we can respond immediately. Because Moda thought of the Gion that he had contacted with, he asked Shangha. Speaking of which, has it been a while since I saw Gion? I told you, don't think so much, Sengoku, Suru said lightly, Gion couldn't take it anymore because he was annoyed by that guy Cake, so he took some quests and went to North Blue. Although it's a mission, if you take the initiative to go to the Four Seas, you will have some vacations. Garp is a typical example. Now he is leading the mission to suppress the East Blue Pirates and went back to visit his grandson. North Blue. Sengoku pondered for a moment, then diverted the topic away. Speaking of which, North Blue, have you been chasing that guy Doflamingo recently? That's right. Crane nodded. Although that guy didn't enter New World, he has made some influence in North Blue. He is quite a troublemaker, and the people above don't want him to be so active. Doflamingo was once the identity of Celestial Dragons, which is not a surprising secret among the Marine executives. It just so happens that I have someone here who has some relationship with Doflamingo. He volunteered as an undercover agent and joined the plan to deal with Doflamingo. You don't have to worry about his reliability. He is someone I value very much. That guy? Crane showed a funny expression, Micro? If there is no problem, let it be. Sengoku couldn't help coughing lightly, and then returned to the serious look of sitting in the marshal's office. Now, apart from the tea party incident that has been settled, there is another big event happening in New World. Whitebeard took the initiative to find Kaido's conflict. But on this point, Sengoku and Crane are not as dignified as they were before Moda. After all, Moda is beyond the acceptable and expected range, while Whitebeard and Kaido are within the acceptable range. Both are well known and powerful pirates, especially in the current New World, but Whitebeard is much more powerful. Regardless of the outcome, this battle will be a major shock and damage to the forces of both sides. Pirates colliding with pirates is always what Marine is most happy to see. It's like the world trend that Moda is unwilling to monopolize the headlines. Only after Moda completely became the third emperor of the sea, the major event on the other side of the new world announced the result of the victory in the form of a headline newspaper two days later. Unlike the large-scale battle between BIGMOM and Moda, 
the Whitebeard Pirates took the initiative to find the Beast's pirates, and the resulting battle was almost a confrontation between the main ship and the main ship. In this battle, there is no doubt that the winning side is the result of Whitebeard shooting Kaido down into the sea, showing Whitebeard's strength as the strongest man in the world today. Apart from this result, none of the parties suffered greater casualties, and neither party won by crushing. In this battle, apart from the strength of the Baitwan, we can also see that Kaido High Thieves group that is not inferior, much background. Especially the crux of this battle, when Kaido faced the current peak Whitebeard, he insisted on fighting against him for three days and three nights without losing, which is enough to see the gold content in it. In the end, although Kaido fell behind and the Beast's pirates hurriedly left as the loser, the Whitebeard pirates did not chase after them. Therefore, this record against the strongest man today forced Kaido of the Beasts to squeeze out other big pirates in New World and be promoted to one of the strongest pirates in New World. Huang Chi is out, New World enters the rule of four emperors, such headlines. The content of this newspaper with a turbulent New World significance was quickly accepted by all parts of the world, and some of it was written by the world government. Since the killing failed, it can only use Moda as a point of New World in the form of four emperors, to gradually balance this turbulent sea. New world. Back at Moda in Wanokuni, I was already relaxing and relaxed on the chair, enjoying the flower flower fruit percussion massage on my shoulders, arms and even ankles. Did you think that this time, Whitebeard would be so angry that he completely wiped out the hundred beasts? In the end, it was still the same result. Moda said, pitying the newspaper. The information was a few years in advance, and Kaido had left the Wanokuni area, Moda wondered how different it would be. As a result, they just defeated Kaido and did not continue to pursue. Obviously, Whitebeard was afraid of a real death battle and a greater loss. However, from the lineup of the attack, only the crew of the main ship can predict to some extent that the enemy is a big pirate like Kaido, and they didn't bring other pirates under their command. Obviously, they dared to break into naval headquarters for the sake of Ace, even sacrificing the pirates under the Emperor's command. Now Kazuki Odin, who is also the captain of the second team, is taking revenge in a reserved way. Could it be that the dead family members are not as important as the family members who are about to be executed, or is it that knowing that Ace is Luoji's son is more important? In Moda's heart, he couldn't help but make up his mind about the result. For these two people, he was just like Marine and he was happy to see the result and they both caused greater losses. After all, Yudian is dead. Kazuki, who was busy with affairs on the side, said that when it comes to Kazuki Odin's death, it is already a blunt blurt that can be calm and unharmed. Indeed, people can't cherish the past too much, what is lost is what is lost, and the present and the future are more important. Moda smiled, after this battle, the time when he came out of the moon was more suitable for him. What's Wanakuna's attitude towards newspapers now? Moda looked at Robin. Originally, Wanokuni was blocked from information. When Moda asked Morgans, the other party was naturally willing to spread a large number of newspapers to this new customer, increasing the sales rate of his world economic newspaper. Wanokuni received a high level of response, and was already able to accept overseas information, especially the news about you, my lord, but was praised by the citizens with pride. Even for this recent four emperors ranking, it is generally believed that you were the number one sea emperor. While talking, Robin sorted out the follow up documents for Kazuki, and was taken by Kazuki for a while. She was more or less comfortable with the tasks to be done. The general manager has as many tasks as he wants. It can be said that apart from collating the daily reports from various rural areas, her ability to spend most of the time is like this, and it is used as a manual massage tool from time to time. According to Moda, this is also one of the obligations that the manager should fulfill. Robin must not believe this in his heart, but he still honestly does what Moda wishes. After all, she is really grateful to Moda for this real big family environment, without deceit, and no longer alone. Yes. Listening to Robin's words, Moda accepted it calmly. Which royal group, all the forces under its command think this way, just like the Whitebeard group praised the old man Newgate and his girlfriend blackened him as a general. But in the final analysis, Moda's sense of identity with the first sea emperor is not very clear. From the time he captured Wanokuni, his goal was not just to dominate the sea, but even one of the new world emperors at the peak of pirates, it was just an indicator of his ambition. In the end, it is necessary to become the king to replace the world government, 
which can be regarded as the realization of what Moda calls his ambition, and for this reason, he can further improve himself and plan for the future. And the name of a person, the shadow of a tree. After becoming the current emperor of the new world, many actions can be driven unscrupulously. Moda thinks about those fruits that have not been used all the time, and some kind of idea keeps expanding and perfecting in his heart. Since BIGMOM can hold a tea party with refreshments and drinks with the uniqueness of all nations, it is not impossible for him to use Wanakuna's flame festival to carry out activities, and he can even use these fruits in his hands to hold a show of a martial arts conference. Not a bad idea. However, time has yet to pass. At the very least, in this martial arts conference, he wants to let the country's strength and Yudingfen's background resonate ten times. Because Moda, an alien butterfly, instigates a storm that disrupts the original history, it is different from the usual calendar in the original book, Sea Circle Calendar 1503, which can be said to be a year of great significance. Moda, who stepped on Bigmom to become the king of the New World, and Kaido, who became famous in the battle with Whitebeard, and Ochaku, who was one of the original Rocks pirate members who occupied the Hive Island, have completely become New World. The fourth sea emperor of the world. The reward list of the four emperors began to be sent to the sea by the pigeons. World's strongest man, Whitebeard Newgate, offering a reward of 3.846 billion baileys. Big MOM, Charlotte Linlin, with a reward of 3.259 billion baileys. Air General, Moda, rewarded with 3.12 billion baileys. Hundred Beasts, Kaido, offering a reward of 2,836,700,000 baileys. 363. This is the attitude given by the world government. Together with other big pirates, they have opened a high reward list of more than billions of baileys. It is undoubtedly announcing that the most turbulent sea area in New World has evolved into four emperors. Pattern. This is a realm different from other pirates, telling the whole world honestly that the gap between ordinary pirates and monster pirates is no less than the watershed after a carp jumps over a dragon gate. The strength of these four monster pirates is also well known so the so-called four emperors are mostly defaulted. In this way, as expected by the world government, the whole year of chaos caused by Moda began to settle down, and gradually returned to the general stability of previous years. The only thing that has changed is that this new world has completely become the emperor's jurisdiction. More and more people who come here from the four seas and the Grand Line have begun to take refuge in the pirate emperor. The windmill. The most popular of these are the two camps of Moda and Whitebeard. After all, Although there are four emperors, there are high and low points, and you still have to follow the two who seem to be stronger among the emperors. In such a situation, Moda didn't reject it after learning about it, but he didn't refuse everyone. What he wanted was always elite power. Therefore, even if there is a safe gate leading to Wanokuni, it will basically not be open to unfamiliar outsiders for non domestic members and approved cooperative merchant ships. Therefore, if you want to seek refuge with Moda, you have to go through the vortex sea area and climb the sky high waterfall in an open and honest way, and this is only the initial review. It is because of the difficult conditions that although many people yearn for Wanokuni, there are even more people who are discouraged. This sea area is so gloomy that it can discourage most people's courage just by seeing it at a glance, not to mention there are still many customs clearance in the end, Wanokuni was still negatively played. As a result, after several months, only one or two fleets passed through the dangerous sea area of Wanokuni and were finally accepted as one of the fleets under his command. You must know that today, there are basically no fewer than ten pirate ships that successfully enter the New World every month. With such a big data, it is definitely the bottom level among four emperors. Moda doesn't care about this, and acts according to his own attitude as always. Familiar with the two major weapons of war, and at the same time, the militarized training that has been carried out in Wanokuni, in terms of combat power, will not be different from other imperial regiments due to the number of reasons, and even the situation of cultivating the essence but not the mediocrity can be better. Save resources and achieve greater cultivation efficiency. Of course, in addition to those who come to Wanokuni on their own initiative, some pirates who have become famous at sea and can be spotted by Moda will also take the initiative to collect them. The crescent moon hunter Katrine Dima is one of the symbols. Apart from the expansion of strength and personnel, other aspects of the country are also developing at a high speed. Not only did Morgans open the newspaper access to Wanokuni, but Moda, the other underground kings of the Dark World in the Tea Party, also allowed them to develop interests in Wanokuni. 
Feld, who has the means of currency circulation in the dark world. Moda uses his means to slowly convert part of the gold into Bailey savings. Umit, the shipping king, and Jibozen, Moda, the warehousing industry, also use this aspect to purchase various overseas specialties and equipment unique to various countries, making his site more colorful and rich. The weapons and seastone handicrafts produced at the same time are also operated by them. Such efficiency is not only higher, but the price will not be more expensive, after all, the reputation of the emperor of the new world. They are reputable and powerful in the dark world, which is of great help to them in stabilizing their positions in their respective fields. And one of them, Stussy of Happy Street, Moda did not stop the people in the red light district from developing more diverse entertainment culture in Wanakuna's unique geisha. This is an obvious arrangement of intelligence chess pieces, but what information to release, or what information to block, is all under the control of Moda. So these intelligence personnel, as long as they hold the world government firmly here, Moda can use them instead to manipulate information. The quality of a spy depends on how it is used, especially those who think they have not been exposed. Although the kings of darkness in the underground world are all areas of the world that do not see light, let alone, with the help of their means, they have brought great convenience to countries that have gradually stepped out of seclusion. These changes, especially in the annual flame ceremony, the most obvious. In the City of Flowers, the song and dance troupe trained by the singer Emily Pei directly under the general, including Maria and Yamato, is placed on the grand stage built by overseas national treasure craftsmen, cheering and singing beautiful ballads from home and abroad. On the streets of various townships, there are even more delicacies and delicacies, and the shops are decorated with lights. Take a look at the delicacies of Wanokuni, and what's more, sell the pastries of the Fishmen Island, the cactus chowder of Alabasta, the samurai of Al Buff, and the frozen sashimi of Snow Country. Amazon Lily's Arch Zolola Cheese Sea King's Tube Noodles and other special dishes and snacks. These once taboo overseas specialties are now even being studied by Wanokuni chefs. From tools, machinery, down to culture, food, everything is changing day by day on this land. The deep rooted backwardness of the country was completely broken only in the three years after Moda took over. It can be said that apart from the relatively limited access to the sea, and being an illegal country with no other foreign tourists, in some cases, the power in Moda's hands has already been regarded as a country that is among the best in accepting and absorbing cultures from all over the world. Therefore, in order to adapt to the increasingly high level of entertainment in this country, Moda moved the island again, coupled with the multiplication of Momo fruits, and built some corresponding special areas. New areas such as entertainment venues, stages, musical theaters, competition venues, military bases, auction houses, colorful coasts, etc., not only allow the domestic vitality of the economy to circulate, but also enrich this self-sufficient realm. In the new world of the four emperors, everything is stable and changing over time. Whitebeard and Bigmom are still guarding their respective territories. While the former is sailing, it is constantly gathering pirates who want to keep up with the ship. The latter is a member who has begun to form an alliance and is said to have been pregnant for several months, preparing to create a new species for the family. Kaido occupied the New World Volt Sea area, built a new ghost island in it, and expanded more than a dozen pirate ships at once, and took in another batch of new pirate boys. This information is all collected through the shadow guards infiltrating into the underground world. While Moda is making connections in the underground world, he will naturally not let go of using these connections to gradually infiltrate his power into the underground world. These people who are most able to move in the dark often have relatively rich intelligence information. Big MOM surpasses other emperors' intelligence sources, but it is realized through these connections. Of course, Moda will not let it go. What's more, as the shadow guards are getting bigger and bigger, compared with Wanokuni who has completely ruled, putting them in these dark places can give full play to their advantages of concealment and information collection. And the person who is currently communicating with the captains of the shadow guards is Robin. It's flamboyant ability, use these records to integrate these aspects, don't be too convenient. Moda basically acted as a shopkeeper, except for important event reports, the rest were handed over to Kazuki and Robin. Taking advantage of the time gained by throwing away hands, gradually deepening his own strength, Moda also did not forget to spend most of his time teaching the seeds of the imperial family. As Kuina gradually became proficient in the basics of swordsmanship, Moda began to teach her how to develop swordsmanship. 
In other aspects, she and Perona were allowed to enter the military base to learn, especially the two-color thunder. It is worth mentioning that both of them are talented in knowledge and armed respectively, and they have already mastered knowledge. Kuina is biased towards the swordsmanship power endowed by the armed color, while Perona is a ghost under the knowledge color, which can have more surprise and unexpected assisting power. In the past few years, Lafitte has specialized in hockey cultivation. Armed color has gradually touched on the aspect of emission, and he has also begun to find domestic experts who have mastered these aspects to deepen and understand through battles. Hancock and Maria, under the development of the two who prefer physical skills, in addition to hockey practice, they still mainly use combat training to improve their respective strengths. Of course, before the Pirate Queen grew up, she was still suppressed by Maria who had received Moda's teaching earlier. As for Yamato, after forcibly supplementing the knowledge of electric energy, the development of thunder fruit is indeed more convenient. There was an episode in which Yamato and Hancock successfully awakened conquerors under Moda's special pressure, and Moda paid more attention to the teaching of them. In addition to the cultivation of these core strengths, under the policy, Wanakuna's overall strength background is also constantly expanding. Before the conscription in the BIGMOM incident, Moda simply took a step closer to the policy of opening up the National Army. No matter what your strength is, you can take the initiative to join the army. There are not only various teaching methods, but also the mastery of hot and cold weapons, Marine Six styles and other martial arts, and the most practical hockey aspect of New World, etc. It is the Ishin Gymnasium, which has also been used in the cultivation of samurai. This Moda is authorized and authorized. At the same time, Koshiro, who won the battle with other famous samurai in Wanokuni, is also relatively popular in China. For this reason, apprentices who join the army, in addition to the rest time, even have to be divided into different batches of several days to study, which is enough to imagine its usefulness. All these, together with various preferential treatment policies for joining the army, also set off a frenzy in the country. Nearly half of the country's personnel are eager to sign up and go to the military base to be built. Of course, this is still under the condition that Moda controls the number of people. After all, under the premise of conscription, it is necessary to maintain the necessary operation of other aspects of the country's development. In addition to the increase in troops and elite training, Wanakuna's farming has also become a huge grain exporter within a year, not even lower than the huge profits brought by arms and handicrafts in the sea property market. Of course, this is not the reason why Wanakuna's land is so fertile, everything is still applied to the magical devil fruit. At the beginning, Lilith, who brought the three daughters of Wanokuni, was a royal noblewoman from a country rich in food. Because she couldn't afford the money from the sky, and because the country was mainly agricultural, she was more sympathetic to the people, and finally became a dilapidated kingdom. In the hands of Moda, after knowing that he has a certain understanding of agricultural development, Moda gave the ripe fruit that Aaron handed over to him for use. In addition to playing some new tricks during the break, in the characteristic areas where domestic animal husbandry is the mainstay, you can use your ability to ripen these crops. Only the newly cultivated seedlings and cubs can't withstand the ripening ability, other crops have achieved higher growth efficiency after experiments. In previous years, there were almost three harvest seasons a year. After Lilith's large-scale ripening once in March, it directly increased to a terrifying double harvest. Wanokuni which has no shortage of food, turned to overseas sales because of this. Food is more useful than arms, so because of the large quantity, it also caused a lot of fluctuations in the underground world, and even made Wanokuni appear again. In a column somewhere in the newspaper, it became a famous grain power. This kind of huge profit also made Kaido couldn't help making phone calls, wanting to share the profits of food products. For this, Moda directly rejected the other party's shameless proposal. Now they are all at the same level, and even have the strength not inferior to Kaido, how could Moda let the other party look good? If it weren't for using Kaido to make profits for the man-made devil fruit, and at the same time using him to plant a world-class hidden thunder, Jinda has a 50-50 interest in planning to directly kill the weapon. As for the cooperative relationship, when Charlotte Linlin planned to do something to Wanokuni, the other party had some serious thoughts, and Moda himself would not take this relationship to heart and the hidden thunder mentioned is naturally the fruit of the dumpling that shined in the Ghost Island War. This fruit has not yet been grasped by Moda, but it is likely to be born in Wanokuni, and even if not, Moda will try his best to get this fruit. 
He wants to use Kaido to push the man-made fruit to the new world, and the world government will definitely not let go of such a fruit that enhances its strength. Therefore, if the elements of dumpling fruit can be added to the artificial fruit, when this thunder explodes, the day will be wonderful. Time flies, spring goes and autumn comes. Even though the new world has entered a relatively stable situation due to the four emperor's structure, and the new era of turbulent winds and clouds, there are still many incidents that continue to go on every year. See Circle Calendar In 1504, the flamingos started to gain a lot of fame in North Blue, and the Don Quixote family's underground fosses business grew bigger and bigger, and they had already vaguely stepped into the background of the dark forces in the New World, especially from the Marine Chief of Staff many times. He escaped from the Marine led by Crane, and became famous. In the same year, in order to suppress the flamingos of North Blue, Marine sent a spy and successfully infiltrated the Don Quixote family. Da Flamingo also succeeded in seeing his real family members of the same blood again after many years. See Circle Calendar In 1505, an emergency occurred in a certain kingdom where pirates imprisoned soldiers and threatened the king to surrender the throne. The world government sent Rob Lucci, who was only 13 years old, to kill 500 soldiers by himself, and the government's prestige was significantly improved. Sea Circle Calendar 1506 was also a year of constant events, and the World Summit, held every four years, was held again on Mariajoy. Among them, there are issues about the pattern of New World Four Emperors, and pirates are becoming more and more rampant, and the contribution of marine and world government has increased, so the gold in the sky will also be adjusted upwards. Originally, many countries would be dissatisfied with this, but after the throne incident that happened last year, with a majority vote, the agreement on the increase was finally passed. In addition to the main issue of gold in the sky, this world summit also held other topics, such as the rise of revolutionary organizations that are vaguely harmful to the country, and the final completion of seven warlords of the sea personnel. Excluding Crocodile Sand, Gecko Moria, and Badak Bardock, the remaining four are Swamp Villain Stella, Strange Force Russell, Huge Battleship San Juan Wolf, and Ochaku, who was one of the crew of Rock's Pirate. These are all the more outstanding pirates in recent years, and there are also veteran pirates who could not bear the pressure of the four emperors and escaped from New World. As an organization recruited by the world government, no matter in terms of strength or reputation, they can indeed challenge the Grand Line. Pirates play a restrictive role. With the end of the two main topics, this world summit has come to an end with relative satisfaction. It is worth mentioning that, compared with the previous world summit, four years later, there are three less member countries participating in this conference. One of them used to be Frevens, the most wealthy town in the franchise country, the famous White Town. And the reason why they didn't come to the franchise country this time was not because they couldn't afford to pay the heavenly money, nor was it because the country was invaded by pirates. But the whole country, before the World Summit, a serious illness suddenly broke out, involving the entire nation, except for the royals and nobles, all the people, men, women, old and young, were infected with a strange disease. North Blue, Frevence, the White Town, is the country's nickname. Originally, the residents of this country had a very prosperous life, and the ground and trees in the country were as white and flawless as the land of ice and snow in the fairy tale world. It used to be a country as beautiful as a fairyland on earth. The root of the dreamy landscape is the discovery of a type of lead ore called polyd in the formations of the country. This amber lead can not only be used to produce tableware, paint, sweeteners, cosmetics, and even, weapons. High-quality lead products have many buyers all over the world, and, lead lead industry, has become a major industry in Frefans. The world government, with quick eyesight and quick hands, also participated in the transportation industry of unlucky goods. The white towns that brought people infinite wealth and unlimited business opportunities at that time attracted the world. However, they did not expect that ammonium lead can bring wealth, but it can also bring serious harm. Through mining, this toxin will enter the human body and affect the life of the next person. Now it is Sea Circle Calendar 1506, it is time for this generation of national poison to explode completely. This information, under deliberate investigation, is already the guillaume of the naval headquarters vice admiral, which was thoroughly investigated in the Sea Circle Calendar in 1505. One hundred years ago, the world government had discovered that platinum lead was a poison. In order to gain profits, the government and the royal family concealed the truth and deceived the people to continue mining uranium lead. 
When she learned the truth, she was naturally furious, and she went to Chief of Staff Suru and Marshal Sengoku to ask for an explanation and find a solution. In this regard, the result is naturally needless to think about. Gion's anger can be understood, but now it is impossible to solve this incident. It is impossible for the world government to expose its scandal overseas, which is not conducive to maintaining its reputation and order, especially when the world summit is about to be held, and naval headquarters has no reason to interfere with the country. Worried about Gion's excessive reaction, Sengoku had no choice but to let him leave North Blue temporarily and forcefully stay in Marlene Vander to rest. But until Frevin's virus broke out completely, and after it appeared in the newspapers, Gion could no longer resist Sengoku's military order, resolutely left naval headquarters, and drove a boat to the White Town privately. Knowing the seriousness of the incident, Sengoku hurriedly sent people to pursue him, but he had already arrived at Gion, where the special current of the marine was sailing towards North Blue. It was obviously too late to catch up, so he could only inform the cranes who were also in North Blue anxiously. After the fermentation of the incident, the lead disease has almost eroded the entire country. Neighboring countries have already considered it an infectious disease, and Frevens has a powerful weapon, lead bullet, made of platinum lead. In order to prevent his country from suffering the same fate as Frevens, he began to cooperate with Freven Ravens broke out in war and sealed off the altar. In just a few days, when Guillaume arrived in this country, what he saw was already a scene that can be described as hell. There are blockades all over the port, and there are piles of corpses around it. Marine. When the soldier wearing a protective mask saw Guillaume, he immediately reminded him kindly, those inside are all Frevens who are infected with a terrible disease. Could it be that there are people from the royal family who have been left out by the world government? It seems that they heard the word marine, and they were not noticed by the soldiers immediately. The civilian children hiding in the eaves ran out crying, Master Marine, please help us. There is a refuge ship at the western port, but the people there don't allow us to leave at all. This is a child who is only eight years old, which is about the same age as when Guillaume started worshipping Marine. However, when he ran towards Guillaume, Guillaume also subconsciously opened his hands, trying to hug the child of the seeker. The soldier saw the exposed white skin, and immediately screamed in panic, and the musket in his hand shot directly. Click. The scene of the shooting with blood bursting out of the chest appeared in front of Guillaume, who was full of wide-eyed eyes. Being stimulated to lose consciousness for a short time, especially seeing the child's panic after seeing the child's eyes closed, Guillaume's heart was suddenly ignited with the greatest anger in his life. But remembering the justice behind him, he resisted the urge to draw his sword, grabbed the soldier by his collar, and lifted him off the ground in contrast to his tall figure. You bastard. That's a child, can you handle it? Ammonite disease is not contagious at all. This is the source of the disease left over from the development of ammonium in this country. Feeling lost when his feet couldn't touch the ground, coupled with Guillaume's pupils full of anger, the soldier immediately struggled and explained in a panic. This is the order of the king and the others, and we must completely eliminate these patients with porcine disease. There are many countries that are very close to Frevens, and no one wants to get this terrible virus. Besides, the lead disease is not contagious, and you don't have any basis for it, my lord. The world government is acquiescing to these practices now. Boom. As if following the soldier's words. In the center of the town, there were continuous and clear explosions, one after another, and the raging fire covered the entire white town at once. There is no doubt that it is a symbol of war that has long covered the country. Seeing this, Guillaume's pulling strength increased a bit, and then he swung the soldier directly, hitting the cordon and rolling 240 meters, and then he found something, and immediately rolled again in panic take the climb and struggle back outside the cordon. Guillaume snorted coldly, and his figure flickered, ignoring the cordon around him, and quickly jumped towards the west of Frevin's town. All around, there were flames burning the houses, and there was an extremely pungent and unpleasant smell of burning. Guillaume quickened her pace. Compared with these smells, all the investigations over the years, combined with the darkness happening in this country at this moment, made her feel even more nausea uncomfortably. When she was on the mission of North Blue, she also stayed in this famous prosperous town for a while. At that time, it was full of prosperity and laughter, but now it is difficult to hear even the voices of the residents. There is only one the raging fire, and the messy corpses that had already been shot around. This is obviously not the first day of the war, 
but what kind of desire does a child of that age have to cross such hellish streets and run from the west to the edge of the blockade in the center? Guillaume didn't know, but felt even more uncomfortable about it. When she rushed to the western port, she could see the refuge ship hired by the port that had been bombed to the ground. It can also be seen that the ground is full of children less than ten years old, as well as some nuns, all of whom were shot and lost all vitality. Marine. The two soldiers who were stationed here, which also caused this situation, couldn't help but shout out in surprise when they saw the person coming, and immediately raised their weapons and said tremblingly when they saw something, don't, don't come here. This is the source of disaster, you if you come in without protective clothing, you are looking for death, don't infect us with that horrible strange disease. Guillaume didn't care about the soldier's words, she just looked at the group of children helplessly, the dead silence all the way, coupled with the current scene, a string in her heart was completely broken. It happened that the marine didn't answer, and there were some steps forward. The soldier nervously pulled the trigger accidentally, and the bullet hit the ground in front of Guillaume. The next moment, Guillaume's figure flashed, and in the blink of an eye, he had already arrived behind the two soldiers, and made the movement of withdrawing the knife. Puff. Blood flew out from the sword marks, and the two soldiers fell heavily to the ground. Guillaume walked up to the group of children, scanning them one by one, until he saw the nun's smiling and serene appearance, he couldn't help clenching his fists again. Blue blue. The voice of the phone bug rang again in his arms. Guillaume took it out and glanced at it, and saw that it was the phone bug directly under Crane. It didn't connect, but put it back in his pocket. At this moment, she caught the movement behind her and immediately looked back. It was a boy wearing a winter hat, looking at the surrounding area in disbelief. R.O. Seeing the terrified look on the other side's face when they saw Marine, and the movement of trying to run away in a hurry, G. Yuan Shin Chunin couldn't help calling out the other party's name. Hearing the other party calling his name, the boy named Trafalgar Law stopped in his tracks, looked back, and after careful examination, he recognized something, but he ignored it and ran away. Luo. Do you recognize me? I'm the Gion who visited your father before. Seeing this, Gion couldn't help catching up and said hastily. At that time, when he came to Beichong town, after knowing the hidden dangers of Po Led, Gion asked the doctors in this country to remind him, including Luo's father. She explained to the group of doctors the dangers of ammonium lead, and wanted to use the power of doctors to solve the problem, but after discovering that this is already an intractable disease, which has lasted for a hundred years, at this moment, it is only possible to combine the world's major medical countries. Solve this disease. For this reason, Gion returned to naval headquarters, trying to use this huge organization to seek a solution, but the result was that the blocked city was left in the headquarters for several months. Today, the failure to solve the problem of Po Lead disease, is the means of war that this kind of neighboring country violently solves, and this hellish scene was born. Don't follow me. First hate Marine the most. When Gion said this, Luo immediately stopped angrily and turned around and shouted, my father has already investigated the source of this disease and it is not contagious at all, and he has also sought help from the world in Marine. But no one is willing to help. If there is no answer, just hang up the phone. You should know this, so why don't you let the world government tell you that even if we get sick, it won't be contagious. In this way, this country will not suffer such a demise, such as street rats being shot and killed indiscriminately, everyone, my parents will not die, and rummy. When he mentioned something, Luo remembered something, and hurried back to his home, leaving Guillaume standing there because of the words. This kind of hatred and aversion to Marine, even if he doesn't have any knowledge of emotional perception, Guillaume can deeply feel it. She couldn't help recalling the conversation with that man a few years ago, all kinds of world government, she acted but couldn't, was not allowed to change the ending. Mingming knew the hidden dangers of Amber led early on and the joining countries that paid high amounts of heavenly gold every year ended up in such a situation. Since she was greedy for the huge profits of Poshian and deliberately concealed it, not only will she not be given any help when something happens, even if she wants to change it, she will not be allowed. This is the people of a country. The royal family and nobles can leave, but they can't, and they die more from unexplained gossip than the lead disease. World government, is it really a god who can rule life at will? Once again, Guillaume feels the weight of justice behind him, not because he denies the idea of Marine, but because he is ashamed that this belongs to the world government organization and defends the world. 
This is completely different from what she believed in when she was a child, grew up and joined the Marine. She couldn't help but think of the big event when the Marine hero Garp's son, Drago, left Marine. Did he also feel inconsistent with the justice in his heart and make a decision? Thinking of this, Guillaume took off the Vice Admiral Cloak of Justice behind him, hesitated for a while, and then still resolutely threw it on the ground. Rummy. Seeing that the hospital was covered by the monstrous fire, Luo helplessly lay on the ground and cried out. Seeing this, Guillaume, who had already followed up, also silently didn't know what to say. A boy who is only ten years old, everything he knows in one day is shattered, happy family, relatives and friends, and even the whole country. With such a heavy blow, even Guillaume knew that consolation would have no effect at all. What's more, she originally had the opportunity to change this ending, obviously the man Moda told her a few years ago. But because of the heavy marine coat on her body, she was unable to give birth to the thought of defying the world government at that time. If she hadn't seen Frevens's blocked newspaper, she wouldn't even have known what Frevens had ended up like. This was a brutal massacre of these uninformed people. Sorry. Guillaume walked up to Luo and said guiltily. When looking at Luo's gaze that raised his head, Guillaume could feel the strong hatred in that gaze, not only towards Marine, but more like the idea of wanting to completely destroy everything. Perhaps, except for those villains by nature, many pirates at sea were forced out in this way. Obviously, a year ago, he was a very sensible child. Guillaume couldn't help but have such thoughts in his heart, looked directly at Luo's hatred, and still insisted, Come with me. I will take you to see a doctor, solve the platinum lead disease, and then live well. Are you kidding? Who wants to leave with you? Luo slapped Guillaume's hand away and said angrily, I said it, what I hate the most is Marine, and that shitty world government. Hearing Luo's words, Guillaume nodded instead. You are right, so come with me, I am no longer a Marine. Luo's voice immediately faltered, and he looked sideways, followed by a man's laughter resounding from the high rise of the hospital. Ha ha ha. Since it's no longer Marine, then Guillaume, would you like to join my camp? Luo and Guillaume immediately looked up and saw a man standing on the roof of the burning hospital. Like an emperor standing here, the surrounding fire was like courtiers, and they retreated around him one after another, leaving a large area that the flames could not touch. Moda. Rummy. Both of them exclaimed. Guillaume saw the man who made a bet with her many years ago, and Trafalgar Law saw the little girl in the man's arms the sister he thought was buried in the sea of fire. Moda jumped from the roof, like an invisible wind stepped on his feet, and fell to the ground safely. Immediately, Luo quickly climbed up and looked at the younger sister in Moda's arms. He had learned some medical skills from his father, and Lamy didn't have any burn marks on his body. He was still in the same stable state before he left, and it seemed that he had just fallen into a coma. But as long as he is still alive, Luo's heart is already extremely excited, and tears even flow out uncontrollably. Obviously it was just a trivial matter, but compared to the previous despair, this sudden redemption also made it difficult for the ten-year-old to control his tear ducts. Thank you so much for saving my sister. Luo knelt on the ground on the spot and kowtowed to Moda to express his gratitude. As long as the appearance is just right, he will leave an extremely deep kindness on Luo. For Luo who has experienced ups and downs, this kindness is the best guarantee for future loyalty. I haven't seen you for a few years, but you are becoming more and more outstanding, Guillaume. Putting Lamy in front of Luo, Mo did turn to look at Guillaume. How about the invitation I just sent you? Guillaume didn't answer immediately, but asked. For Frevens, now you of the four emperors, do you have the ability to avoid this disaster from happening? Ah, that's right. Mo de nodded. But before this disaster, Frevens was actually a member of the world government. I know, I didn't mean to question your approach, Guillaume said. Moda is now the famous four emperors in the new world. In the world, he is the name of a person in the shadow of a tree. As one of the four strongest monsters of the era, as long as it is a member country, it will not be able to avoid it. What Guillaume wants to know is whether the other party has any background in challenging world government. And Moda's answer can be heard more or less. Will you go against the world government in the future? Guillaume asked again, this is not just about the identity of the pirate. Of course, I have great ambitions. Moda looked at Guillaume. As I told you at the time, the world government has long been decayed. Under his rule, this land has already been settled since a hundred years ago. 
the decision of the world government, as a marine, you can't resist, can you? So, follow me and go to see the area under my rule, maybe you will be more firm in your newborn faith. Guillaume looked at Moda's outstretched palm, which seemed to be a so-called form, but the determination of justice had faded from her body, she didn't hesitate much, and then stretched out her hand and, held it up. In this incident, Guillaume regained the peaceful belief in protecting the people of the sea. Now, there are still those pirates who hinder peace, but the brutal rule of the world government needs to be clear about the main root cause. The upper beam is not right and the lower beam is crooked. Question. Haha, <laughs> it seems that North Blue has gained a lot this time. Whether it was the answer or the heart, Moda smiled with satisfaction, and then looked at the two siblings of Trafalgar. You also come with me, in my country, there are doctors who will treat you. Listening to the conversation between the two, Luo, who originally wanted to vote for a certificate, immediately said in surprise, really. Then he hesitated again. This disease is terminally ill and cannot be cured at all. In the eyes of others, we are just terrible monsters. That's just a manifestation of ignorance caused by the world government's deliberate concealment. In the country I manage, you won't have this worry. Besides, don't you want both you and your sister's terminal illness to be rescued? Moda said. Of course I am willing. Please help us, I am willing to use my whole life to work for you, Luo said, and knelt down again. Luo. The reason why you failed to protect your family is that you are too weak. There is no absolute fairness in this world. Fate will never favor the weak. Only by becoming strong can you control your own destiny. I will give you the strength to grow and become a strong man. You will have the value of working hard for me, and you will also have the ability to personally avenge everything that happened today. And Guillaume, who was watching all this, didn't feel any discomfort in his heart, just looked at this picture, looked at Moda. This man is really good at grasping human nature. Just when Moda harvested the long planned Guillaume and Luo, the port of Frevens, using the special marine currents, the warship that traveled from somewhere in North Blue finally arrived here in hot pursuit. Sangoku, Knowing the seriousness of this incident, you still managed to get Guillaume to leave naval headquarters. I even reminded you before I left for work. If I had known this, I might as well have brought Guillaume along on the mission. Wearing a big cloak of justice behind him, the chief of staff, Crane, scolded the phone bug with a gloomy expression, and the target of the phone bug was none other than Marine Marshal Sengoku. As the first person in Marine, facing Crane's anger at this moment, Sengoku who was talking couldn't help but tremble and even cringed a little bit with the phone bug. It's because I didn't think carefully, so I'll trouble you, Shaohei, to bring Guillaume back. Garp has already rushed over. After that, I will personally enlighten her in twos and threes. He also specially sent more than five marines to keep an eye on Guillaume, but he didn't expect that it was just a slack effort, and Guillaume sneaked out of the house directly. But facing Crane's anger at this moment, Sengoku still bears it unreasonably. After all, when Crane went to North Blue to chase Doflamingo, he really entrusted him with the responsibility of guarding Guillaume. Humph. Crane snorted in dissatisfaction, and didn't blame Sengoku anymore. She also knew the heavy responsibility of the marshal, so she rarely said anything about Sengoku, but it was hard for her to suppress her anger about Guillaume. That child, I don't know how sad I am now. I called her no less than ten phone calls, but she didn't answer any of them. Don't have any bad thoughts. Drago is also the child she grew up with, but the fact that the other party chose to leave Marine is still somewhat vivid. It was at the beginning of a mission to escort the Celestial Dragons that he gradually could not accept the dark side of the world government, so he made such a decision. The dark side of the world government cannot be concealed, especially as Marine, who has risen as a military officer, moves to a higher position step by step, and the more power he has to know about certain things. With the incident of Drago, Crane and Sengoku's approach to the dark side of the world government is from light to heavy, and combined with the concept of justice, it is gradually accepted by people. The same is true for Gion. Although I don't know why the other party suddenly has a heart for Frevens, but this can't change the outcome of the result. As long as Gion can't witness it with his own eyes, there will be a chance to slowly convince her. But now, not only witness the ending, but also such a bad situation. Crane looked at the town in front of him like a sea of flames, and the corpses were piled up in pairs on the street. Even though he knew a lot of darkness and had a high degree of acceptance in his heart, he couldn't help but frown. World government is really too much this time, especially knowing the truth, 
it can better reflect the evil under that tyranny. But there is nothing she can do. If Marine wants to do justice, it is impossible for her to break away from the world government, which is a collection of countries from all over the world. I've been to this place a few times, and I didn't expect Frevens to become like this. Sister He, there is a small warship over there. It seems that Sister Ziyuan is indeed alive. The ones who spoke were the two female soldiers beside He Vice Admiral, Mary and Quia. Among the two female soldiers, the former is taller and fatter, with a height of four meters, wearing two brown ponytails, and carrying a marine standard spear, while the latter is relatively slender, with short blonde hair, and a sling around his waist, with short sword. The warship docked at the ship's port, and Crane walked off the warship with a heavy face, followed by a group of female marines, many of whom were wearing the coat of justice only at the school level. Why is there another group of marines? Frevens had been completely dealt with, and the soldiers who were about to withdraw and leave saw the person coming, and one of them couldn't help but speak. Immediately, other soldiers also kindly reminded, this country has very serious infectious diseases. You female soldiers without protective clothing should not go in, so as not to lose their lives. That's right. Just now there was a marine who didn't listen to the persuasion and broke into the blockade without permission. He was looking for a dead end. It's a pity that he looks so delicate. Hearing this, Crane looked at the group of soldiers and saw water dripping from his hands. Compared to these viruses, the massacres committed in your hearts also need to be thoroughly cleaned. As he said that, he immediately stretched out his hand and rushed towards several soldiers. Before he could react, he seemed to be sucked into an invisible machine, and he was being washed like clothes, not only involving the body, but also covering the soul. One by one, they were all light and clean, and their bodies were shining cleanly, falling on the ground, under the protective masks, all of them showed pure and flawless clean faces. This is an ability that doesn't have much lethality, but with this ability, Crane has also solved a lot of troubles for Marine. Its most regular ability is to wash away the evil in people's hearts. You send these soldiers back to their boats, Mary, Kwai, come with me. When the crane gave an order, the female soldiers immediately took action. The two women who were named raised their weapons directly, and strong winds swept out, blowing out the fires on both sides of the street and opening a route for the crane. At this time, under the perception of knowledge, the three cranes who were walking forward sensed the appearance of the breath of life ahead. At the same moment, at the end of the street, Moda and others also saw the marine warship docked at the port, and the three people at the street corner. Miss He. Guion. Both of them paid attention to each other immediately, but one was excited and the other was complicated. Immediately afterwards, Crane wanted to say something, but after noticing the man from the corner of the eye, he stopped what he wanted to say in shock. I've been hearing about your name. This is the first time I've met you, Marine Chief of Staff Crane, Moda laughed. Crane didn't answer, but looked at Guion solemnly, seeing that the other party didn't show joy or cry for help, his heart sank. Guion. Are you serious? While speaking, Crane even trembled unacceptably. With decades of experience, coupled with the ingenuity matched by being the Chief of Staff of Marine, even without Guion taking the initiative to say it, Crane has already guessed the general idea. Immediately after a short period of time, some things became much clearer. The four emperors Moda who suddenly appeared here, Guion has been paying attention to North Blue in recent years, especially the extra attention to the Frevens incident, and the experience of Guion being arrested by Moda. This. All of this, wouldn't it all be premeditated with the man in front of me? Regarding Crane's answer, Guion, who had already made up his mind, said without any hesitation, Sister Crane. I don't plan to go back to Marine again. And I have decided to join Moda. Guion's words caused the group of female Marines to immediately fall into a shocked silence. You know, in this special lineup of female soldiers, Guion is the second person under the crane, and even the idol of most of the new generation of female soldiers. Guion San. Do you know what you're talking about? What the hell happened? Did that guy threaten you? Hearing this, the two female marines beside he couldn't help shouting loudly, and even wanted to shoot angrily, but because of the four emperors, they extinguished this idea. Crane didn't show any anger, just looked at Guion quietly, and Guion also looked at the person she respected most in marine. No one threatens me, sister he, I can somewhat understand Kuzan and Dorag's feelings now. Is the world government really a god who can control life at will? 
He was silent for a while, as expected, this incident had dealt too much blow to this child. I know that the impact of this incident on you may also make you feel confused about the justice in your heart, but this is the test that must be passed for human growth, and this should be the case for Marine. After experiencing these, the true meaning of justice is more evident. I am like this, Sangoku is like this, Zephyr is like this, Kuzan will be like this in the future. Crane said, but looked at Gion who didn't stir up too much god tier emotion, and could only change another way of thinking. What's more, I can't just watch my sister lose myself by falling into other people's tricks like this, let alone beside such a dangerous man. There are some things she can't say clearly, after all, the darkness under justice will also cause the marines on this ship to enter the shock of consciousness. Unaware of the truth, under E's words, the surrounding female marines, regardless of the soldiers' follow-up, slowly gathered beside he, forming a confrontational situation. Mo De didn't say anything, just raised his palm, and the warship of Gion in the distance was directly assimilated and floated into the air, and even landed on top of Moda's head at an extremely fast speed. Mary. Kwai. The big and small marines beside the crane listened to the order and immediately drew out their weapons. Haki was entangled, and with the combination of shooting and sword skills, the slash wave immediately slashed the ground and reached Moda. Moda didn't dodge, because a figure had already pulled out Jinpira, cutting off the attacks of the two. Gion. Seeing his behavior, Mary and Quia even lost respect for him and glared. Moda smiled, especially looking at Crane's more gloomy face. The ground under their feet began to show signs of fragmentation, and a large piece of earth coiling was picked up, carrying Moda and others, and began to fly towards the warship already in the sky. Crane gritted his teeth, leapt his old body, not weaker than the normal vice admiral's speed, and flashed towards Gion, with a wide range of blue light embracing under his hands. Seeing that it was the crane attacking, Gion holding the knife hesitated for a moment. Seeing this, Moda saw a few stones a few centimeters in size, and Mo Ranjian turned into a huge boulder dozens of meters in front of the crane. But just in front of the crane that was about to hit, the hard stone immediately bent and softened like paper soaked in water. The moment he broke through the boulder's block and wanted to shave again, a drop of water the size of a fingernail appeared in front of the crane. And there are more than one, scattered around the crane, like raindrops that are stagnant in the air, Chi Chi surrounds it. Wow! When Hujung dared to be in danger and was about to dodge, an air of emptiness suddenly suppressed the area where she was located, only restricting her movements for a moment. The sphere composed of seawater directly and completely wrapped the crane in the sea sphere, trapping it. Moda. Seeing this, Gion looked at Moda with some pleas in his tone. Moda didn't continue to shoot, but swung the water polo wrapped in the crane and sank it into the sea. Immediately after the marines shouted, most of them jumped into the sea in a hurry. And Moda, with Gion and the two little ones, flew unstoppably to the warship in the air. Complicatedly forgetting to say thank you to the former sisters below, Gion said softly to Moda. Although they just hit the sea, with Moda's strength, Gion knew that the other party stopped, otherwise everyone would not be able to escape. Don't look at them, marines, who can chase the Don Quixote family all over North Blue, but with the strength of real monsters as far as the four emperors are concerned, even Moda alone can destroy them all. And it doesn't need to be said by Gion, Moda will not really kill the crane, of course it is only now. What is this scheming guy like Crane thinking about? He already knew. This old guy really has a desperate heart, and wants to let himself hit her hard, so as to achieve and stimulate Gion's heart, and at the same time use the ability to cleanse to regain the justice in his heart. He has just recruited Gion into the team, and for a chief of staff, he will not lose the future Marine Admiral candidate, and will also face possible crazy retaliation from the Marine and World Government. And he also knew from the heart of the other party that Garp was on his way. He just took people away. There is no need to have a fight with this old guy, who knows what unexpected changes will happen. Hearing Gion's thanks, Moda pretended not to care and said, After all, I attach great importance to your joining. This is the first and last time. Gion, you have to understand that what you want to achieve is such a huge goal. Now that you have made up your mind, the last thing that should happen is the soft heartedness brought about by these past karma. The world government is a ruthless existence. If you know that you still have this weakness, it will definitely use this weakness to crush you, who is now an enemy. Hearing Moda's words, 
Gion did not refute, but nodded seriously. I promise you, there will be no next time. The cranes salvaged by the marines were taken back to the port in a bit of a mess. Although her fruit has the ability to clean both dead and living things, only seawater is her absolute nemesis. She did not forget that Moda possessed the ability to control seawater, but she did not expect that Duofang could use the double fruit so skillfully, causing such an unexpected result in just an instant. Coupled with that terrifying hockey, just now, he felt his own knowledge and knowledge, and lost all perception for a moment, so he was directly hit. The thick towels were immediately taken out from the overturned warship by the marines, and hurriedly covered the cranes. But just looking at the Gon Gion, Crane felt a momentary feeling of old powerlessness, which kept magnifying in his heart. After a while, a huge explosion sounded suddenly from the sea in the distance, and then the waves soared into the sky and piled up, setting off waves tens of meters high. A man with a strong body jumped out of it and landed steadily on the port there was a slight tremor. Vice Admiral Garp. When the waiting female marines saw the man, they shouted excitedly. Am I late, Shaohei? Seeing the overturned ship and the current appearance of the crane, Garp's face is no longer free and easy, but seeing that the crane has not suffered much damage, he is also relieved. No, you came in time, I was the one who didn't hold back the other party, he shook his head and said. Since learning about the Gion incident, not only Gion, but Garp also rushed in this direction. It is precisely because of this that Crane is not worried about being defeated by Moda, and the subsequent safety of Gion and other marines. But unexpectedly, neither the process nor the result developed as she expected. Hearing this, Garp didn't know what to say. After hearing the news from Sengoku, he directly ordered the warship to continue the task of escorting the kings of the allied countries, and rushed to Frevens alone at high speed. It's just that I tried my best to get here, and obviously the incident is over. After being silent for a while, Crane said, Go back to the voyage, these things, I'd better go back and report to Sengoku. Backquote. Knowing the other party's mood at this moment, Garp immediately walked to the overturned warship, and just embraced it with both hands, and this huge warship with thousands of people was picked up and put back on the sea. After getting ready, the group returned to naval headquarters in a slightly depressed manner. Soon, the heavy news that the son of Vice Admiral Garp, who was once also a mid-level military officer, left Marine broke out in the Marine meeting. Although there are also many Marines who betrayed because of foreign affairs or being unable to continue working, but those who chose to betray after sitting in the position of Vice Admiral, after so many years of Marine, these two are the only ones. Marine, who heard the news at the meeting, was dissatisfied with Gion and angry with Moda. The addition of the T-Dolphin code name was even more uncontrollable. The anxiety in his heart was uncontrollable, and he wanted to march towards Wanokuni to regain Gion. Manifesto, which was naturally stopped by a burst of scolding from Sengoku. Leaving aside the fact that Marine sent troops to recapture rather than subjugate, the fact that pirates marched into Marineford and Marines marched into New World are two completely different concepts. What's more, this incident seems to be the result of the collusion between Gion and Moda but the culprit of this result is undoubtedly the tragic demise of Frevens under the operation of the world government. And this, neither Sengoku nor Suru, will say the main reason, even if they themselves are very upset about it. So in the end, with the result that cannot be concealed, and the meaning of the top five people, the move to send troops to pursue Gion was erased, and a newspaper that reprimanded Gion was spread to the world. Park, to mitigate the impact of this incident on the world government and marine. The follow-up of this incident is that Doflamingo in North Blue eased a lot of pressure on the Marine side, because the Chief of Staff, Crane, was deliberately arranged by Sengoku to take a rest. While newspapers spread across the sea, at this moment, a warship flying in the air. Gion looked at the newspapers critical of her betrayal of Marine. Apart from most of the facts, there were some unwarranted charges, and she was forced to be branded as a selfish person who betrayed Marine. Other concerns throughout the story are the account of her joining Moda's camp, adding the fact that she was snatched by Moda a few years ago. Even if there is no evidence to prove it, it is deliberately added at this moment, which deepens the conspiracy theory. How? World government's usual means. Moda looked at Gion's frowning expression and said with a smile. Gion gave Moda a blank look, and closed the newspaper. Although the other party is now her immediate boss, under normal circumstances, she would not feel any sense of restraint from her superiors. 
Although I have seen it before, it's still the first time I have such a practical experience, and it's still a bit frustrating. This newspaper is a channel to spread all over the world. She doesn't care much about her reputation in the world government and marine, but she still has a certain memory in front of the people she cares about. Although she also knows that joining the Moda camp, these should no longer have delusions. I feel uncomfortable. It seems that you still care about other people's opinions. Moda laughed. To know the concept of these people, but the last thing you need to pay attention to, just like this simple newspaper can bring cognitive understanding to the whole world, change their understanding, it can also be very simple. Just like the fact that justice must prevail, history is often written by the victors. Now that the world government that promises justice, you can be sure that they were not the evil party hundreds of years ago. Then even if he is an evil pirate in the eyes of the world today, and he can also become the justice praised by the sea in the future. Guillaume glanced at Moda. You are still so eloquent. He said so on the lips, but because of his approval in his heart, the influence of the newspaper was washed away. He actually chose another path, and now he can only go all the way to the dark, and if it is the man in front of him, after learning about Wanakuna's situation, Guillaume thinks that in the end, there may not be a brand new one. Future. So where do we go now? This direction should not be back to Wanokuni. Guillaume looked at the route map. For the country managed by this man, she could memorize the route even with her eyes closed in the past few years. Famous land of love and passion, Greenbit by Darrow's Rosa, Mo de Kaido. Greenbit. Guillaume was a little puzzled, if Darrow's Rosa would know, after all, the history of this country is quite old, it is said that it existed in New World before the establishment of the world government. Because it is in the chaotic zone at the junction of pirates, the country is relatively Tarao. It is also a country that relies on its famous tourist attractions to support its general economy. Greenbit is a huge primeval forest near Darisrosa, and there lives the isolated Dongtata Lilliputian country, and it is said that the Dongtata family is said to be uncultivable without them in the world. Plants, explains Moda. Now the man-made devil fruit is nearing the stage of completion. If it is successful, then mass production and planting of these fruits will be needed to improve the efficiency. And it's not just the unique talent of this family, there is also a person with healing fruit ability who can be called a heaven-defying nanny, the little human princess Man Shueli. Moda had premeditated this. He is very clear about the role of Man Shueli's ability. Through his own tears, he can achieve the effect of healing others, and even achieve the miraculous rebirth of a broken limb, but at the cost of consuming a certain amount of his own lifespan. At the same time, in the eyes of Moda, Manshueli's most powerful healing ability is not only the rescue of medical miracles, but also the ability to materialize, store, and transfer the healing power of the fruit. Just like in the plot, the blood drawn from other people's body, in the shape of dandelion, is used as a very good mobile treatment kit. Although there is a time limit, if this ability is used in a war, it is equivalent to being a soldier of one's own side who can carry a blood pack that can restore himself in a short time, in other words, it is a weakened fairy bean. For the battlefield, the effect is absolutely extraordinary. With Man Shueli's ability, she can even dominate the direction of a war to a large extent. Especially the role of shadow, but the more powerful the person, the higher the value. Therefore, if the country in his hands has the ability of Man Shueli, it can almost adapt to the perfect correspondence of subsequent abundant reserves and more elite strength. The route was planned in advance, but within a few days, the flying warship arrived at the edge of the coast of Greenbit, the island of fairies. The island is covered by tall plants, and the environment of an uninhabited island is just like a virgin forest. Wow! Such a huge plant, it feels like entering the kingdom of giants. Will there really be the little people in the storybook here? Lamy, who was held by Luo, looked around and couldn't help but let out exclamations. Even there are giants. Why can't there be little ones? It's just that they are rarer than giants, Moda said. But I don't seem to see the figures of the little people, Mr. Moda. Because of curiosity, Luo also looked around like his sister. Because they're hiding and watching us. Gion uttered a voice, and stopped in his tracks. Under the perception of knowledge, there were already many small dots of life, lurking under the surrounding big trees and jungles. Stop. What are you doing? Soon. A small human race suddenly appeared on the huge vine in front, stopping everyone who wanted to move on. Immediately afterwards, a group of little guys with a height of only about 20 centimeters popped up from everywhere, all with pointed noses and fluffy tails, surrounding them. 
This is the attitude towards intruders who don't come here. But Moda said very naturally, I am Moda, the king of a country. Influenced by the deeds of Nolando, this time there is a very important matter. Pay a visit to everyone in the Dantada kingdom. Norland. Guillaume was stunned. If she remembered the name correctly, it should be the protagonist of the story of the big talker Nolan hundreds of years ago. What could Moda be implicated in that happened hundreds of years ago, and why bring it up at this time? Immediately afterwards, Guillaume saw the reason. Hey, is it the great hero Nolando? Is there someone related to the great hero? I can actually meet it. I'm so lucky. Knowing the hero Nolando, you must be a good adult. The originally anxious atmosphere immediately became cheerful, and the Dongtata tribe immediately put down their weapons and surrounded Moda cheerfully, full of kindness and enthusiasm. Seeing this, Gion stayed where he was. Shouldn't Nolando be a person from hundreds of years ago? Why do you believe it just by saying it so casually? The little people are a little too innocent. Moda can somewhat understand Gion's emotions at the moment. Kind and innocent, brave and sincere, the Dongtada clan is indeed a beautiful race like elves. But for his own purpose, Moda looked at the little people, um. Dot you have to cheat. After a while, the news spread, and a larger group of little people gathered together. Among them, Moda also saw several familiar figures, the patriarch of the little people, the princess, and the captain. Honorable King Moda, I have come from a long way, and I welcome you from afar. I am the patriarch of the small people, Gon Chao. Gon Chao welcomed, I don't know if there is something important, so I ask you to come here. I came here this time to bring the Dong Tata family to my country. Moda said bluntly. Huh. The little humans exclaimed. Although with their personalities, they don't care about most things, but when it comes to immigrants, it is a matter of their family's life. Moda continued. I want you to come to my country because I want to build a peaceful and equal country like Nolando. I have been infected by his deeds, just like him. I hope that all races can live together, so you don't have to worry about your safety. I also have the ability to transport the entire island away. At that time, you can continue to live in seclusion, and you can also roam and live in the country I manage. You will be treated peacefully and friendly. Even if any adult bullies you, you can complain to me. Or my subordinates will report that we will, like Nolando, guarantee your peaceful life. Listening to Moda's answer, Dong Tata clan, you look at me, I look at you, and you can't help feeling, as expected of a man who knows the hero Nolando, and his ideas are so great, and then it seems that the mind is one, and each other with a nod, Gan Chao agreed to Moda's proposal. The transfer of an ethnic group should be realized under the guarantee of one sentence. Regarding this, Gyo no longer knew what to say in his heart, he could only have a deeper understanding of the simplicity of the Dongtada tribe. As expected of a hero, Moda Sama, flying high in the sky, most of the little people climbed to the watchtower on the warship, looking down and into the distance. The Dongtada family, who have never been out much, are just like Yamato, who went out to sea for the first time, full of curiosity about everything around them. At this moment, Moda is not outside, but in the room, watching the lovely little princess man Shueli with brilliant blonde hair crying, crying. She stood on the backs of the two brothers and sisters Luo and Lami, lowered her head, a drop of crystal tears flowed from her big eyes, and then just fell on the two who were still lying on the bed. These are not ordinary tears, but tears of healing that can heal almost any wound. How does it feel? Moda asked. The pain in my body disappeared, and I feel the same as usual except for the white marks. Luo said after feeling the changes in his body, and Lami answered similarly. Man Shueli wiped her eyes, raised her head to look at Moda and said, There is a deeper source of the disease, don't we really need to cure it together? That's enough. Moda bent slightly rubbed Man Shueli's little head lightly, and then looked at the two of them. As long as their illnesses are under control, I already have the corresponding channel, and it won't be long before I can use other devil fruits to solve the problems on Luo and Mira. The ultimate of the healing fruit can restore some things in the human body at the cost of reducing lifespan. Moda doesn't know if Man Shueli has the ability to remove the inherited virus in the body, but even if she can, she doesn't want to use it life is wasted on this. After all, Op Op Fruit, Moda must be determined to win. Luo's talent is able to awaken Op Op Fruit, so the ultimate surgery in the future may not be impossible. I attach great importance to you. Luo, who didn't know what Moda was thinking, 
listened to this, and became more grateful in his heart. Princess Manshueli wiped her eyes, raised her head with a smile and asked Moda, is it the fruits that Leo and I eat? That's right. These fruits can bestow magical abilities on lucky people, like Man Shueli, your ability is very powerful. Moda praised. Like a newborn kitten, the little princess showed a shy expression, no, but if Master Moda needs it, I will try my best to help Master Moda. There's me. There's me. Leo and others who were watching around also followed suit. In this regard, Moda thought for everyone. Don't worry, I will need your help when I return to China. With just such a sentence, the Dongtada tribe rejoiced again, and even took advantage of the relaxed atmosphere to run to the cabin of the warship to start a banquet party. The cheerful Lamy also brought Luo into it. It's really simple and cute Dongtada people. Gion sighed, and then looked at Moda. I also have a deeper understanding of your badness. This is what you have to learn after changing your identity now. It's better to be good than to be bad. Otherwise, how do you think I climbed from the unknown to the current four emperors? Moda shrugged. And apart from the four emperors, don't you know, I am also a shrewd ruler who manages the country. Regarding this sentence, Gion understood the meaning of this sentence better after arriving in Wanokuni for the next few days. The people are harmonious, the popularity is high, the cohesion is strong, the knowledge and technology are extensive, and the towns are prosperous. This is Gion's understanding of this country. One must know how shocking this was to the former Marine Vice Admiral who is familiar with all the franchise countries, especially knowing that Wanokuni was not under the management of Moda a few years ago, and it was only in all aspects except for force. Backward illegal country. Moreover, the Dongtada family has also integrated into this country very harmoniously, except for being curious, they have not caused many disgusting incidents. For this, Gion already has a large degree of approval and obedience to Moda in his heart. Therefore, when it comes to the fact that the strength is not enough, Gion began to lead Moda's instruction to improve his swordsmanship in this samurai country. Although he has not yet become the great swordsman level that admiral's candidates still have in the future, but under the premise of rapid progress, after a few months, his strength has reached the level of the royal family that Moda believes. In addition to Gion's integration into the affairs of the general's retainers, the most successful thing in the past few months is the research on artificial fruits for more than three years, and finally the first successful qualified product. Shesh. Indulging in his orgasmic IQ and mind, Guy cackles continuously and makes a gesture of looking up as if Hancock is becoming more and more arrogant. Master Moda, live up to expectations, man-made devil fruit, smile, was born in my hands. Under the amazed eyes of the scientists, Guy proudly introduced the fruit in the storage bottle. What kind of ability is this? Moda asked looking at the SMLIE with colorful patterns. What I extracted was the bloodline factor of a bull. If you take it, as long as you don't fail, you will gain the strength of a bull. Try to pull a prisoner from the rabbit bull. Moda instructed Robin beside him, and the latter quickly conveyed his Wawa ability. Although it is a prosperous age of governing the country, there will always be mistakes in a country not to mention criminals caught from overseas from time to time, and the prison labor of the rabbit bull is still being implemented. A man with the symbols of other pirates tattooed on his body was brought in here, Guy didn't talk nonsense, he immediately cut off the fruit into small pieces and stuffed it into the man's mouth. Soon, the man wailed in pain, followed by a change in his body, his hands and feet turned into the limbs of a cow, and while the head maintained the appearance of a man, it had the appearance of a bull's head with two horns. Immediately, thousands of other scientists placed various instruments on the man, and they did not evacuate until the data reached the standard. There is no doubt that this artificial fruit is a successful creation. Moda handed the phone bug that he had been recording just now to Robin again, and then looked at Guy. This most important part is completed, and now it is natural to add some hidden elements. Since the development of man-made devil fruit has been successful, then I need you to further research on a deeper level so that the products of devil fruit can be perfectly integrated into it. Over the past few years, fortunately, he got the fruit of the dumpling. There are not many fruits of combat power blessing, but it has the ability to make animals absolutely loyal after eating dumplings. This fruit must be given to the most loyal retainers around him. Therefore, Nuo Kagao, who was raised by Moda's side basically, has become the best screener of dumplings called to a forbidden scientific research area where outsiders are not allowed to enter, 
five or six year old Nuo Kagao obediently stood beside Moda and Robin. Following Moda's instructions, he pinched his face with both hands, and soon it was squeezed out like a magic ball made of fat polymers. Master Moda, do you have any abilities in this group? The surrounding scientists immediately gathered around curiously, looking up and down at this ordinary but extraordinary dumpling. This is an edible glutinous rice dumpling, which can make animals eat the dumpling. 600 regards the capable person as the master, including the animal capable person who eats smile. Moda explained, giving this glutinous rice dumpling to the tauren. Soon, the originally manic appearance due to the body changes immediately calmed down, and obediently kowtowed in front of Nuo Kagao as if recognizing his master. Hey! So that's the way it is. Master Moda wants to use this fruit to plant mines in Kaido's hundred beasts. Guy burst into laughter after enlightening himself. Just thinking about that scene made him a little excited. This thunder is not permanent. The ability to recognize the owner of this dumpling fruit is only for one month. As Moda said, he gestured to Nuo Kagao, and the latter immediately squeezed out another ball from his arm, but compared with the previous one on his cheek, the shape and energy were much smaller. This is the developed hidden dumpling, which is the element that I want you to delve into the smile. Its function remains unchanged, and its duration is only less than a week, but it can remain hidden in the user's body for a long time, until Nuo Chigao's voice is heard, the group will trigger the ability to recognize the master. Modia touched Nuo Chigao's head as a compliment to this developed ability. The use of smile will not only be used by Kaido in the future, I won't disclose too much, but in the future, you will see that it is very important decisive role. That's really looking forward to it. Guy acted like I understood, and then began to ask Nuo Kagao for more hidden dumplings. Although Nuo Kagao played a powerful role in the future events, but smile was created by him, so it is naturally even more glorious to share that scene. Moda's request, these scientists rooted in Wanokuni obeyed and started to act. Adding new substances is a troublesome thing for scientists, especially the coding structure of a large number of complex lineage factors in man-made devil fruit. But after all, there is already the embryonic data of the original form, as well as the actual changes after the person with the bullhead ability eats the dumpling fruit. It took a month and various comparative experiments to achieve the perfect fit of the effect energy of hidden dumplings into the factor system of smile. After the artificial fruit was successfully attached to the hidden lightning species, the Dongtata family also started their work in Wanokuni, taking on the role of cultivating the artificial devil fruit of smile in the fairy forest. Relying on the talent and careful cultivation of the Dongtata family, they can directly ensure the increase of dozens of seeds in the first year, and with the continuous increase of planting and cultivation experience, the number of yields will increase. At this time, Moda has also used the direct phone bug to contact Kaido, the largest buyer of this artificial fruit, and played the video at that time. How do you feel? Kaido. Ooh, lousy can't wait. Immediately, a token laugh came from the phone bug. The results have been shown, and the rest of the weight is still being cultivated. It is estimated that there will be about 18 of them. In addition to the changed tauren, I will give you a billion baileys. Certainly. One billion baileys, this amount is certainly not small, and it can even be the sky gold fee of a small country. And this is only the first batch of purchases, but for Kaido, nothing is more important than his formation of the Beast Legion, not to mention that the man-made devil fruit is much cheaper than the market, and it is still priceless as things. Although Kaido also knows that this is the reason for the side effects. Those who fail to succeed will end up with only the emotion of a smile, just like the fruit smile. But this is also a matter of course, and Kaido doesn't care about this, after all, the background of his power now has become more solid after becoming four emperors. How long have to wait? Kaido is already gearing up a bit. It will take at least half a year to cultivate a complete fruit. After all, this is the first batch. Be patient. You don't want me to hand over an immature semi-finished product, do you? Moda laughed. Calculating this time, it will take around 1507 for the sea circle calendar until the first batch of fruits mature, which indeed fits the five-year agreement that Moda once said. Kaido responded, and didn't continue to say anything more on this issue, but continued to say, one billion bailey, it depends on when you deliver the goods, and when you arrive in the account. It doesn't matter, anyway, this time, there will be another middleman in charge of the operation between us. Hearing the noun in Moda's words, Kaido asked, 
Hey, the middleman, isn't that Umit guy? In terms of the arms deal between the two, recently, the Sea King Umit participated in the operation. After all, distance is a problem, the attitude of each other in the situation is another problem. Isn't this a matter of course? Even if it's a profitable weapon, how can it be compared with man made devil fruit? Moda talked eloquently. For this, Kaido also agrees with most of them, he is the main buyer. Regarding the importance of man made devil fruit, of course he also intends to protect it before it grows, so he asked, Who is the middleman you decided this time? Who? Don Quixote da Flamingo. Moda reported the name of the intermediary. That brat in North Blue? Kaido's slightly disgusted voice sounded immediately, Is he responsible? A character who can rule most of the underground forces in North Blue is more or less capable. Moda said, Of course, there are some different thoughts about what he told Kaido. In addition to Doflamingo's ability is indeed qualified, and showing off this favor, the most important thing is the meaning of his identity, he was a celestial dragons and a marine spy with Rosinante. With these two things, Moda can easily use Kaido as a springboard to radiate SMLIE. Time. Come to the middle of 1506 in the Sea Circle calendar. The period of the Flame Festival is getting closer and closer, and Wanokuni is busy with the success of this event. This time is naturally different, not just a domestic celebration period, just like BIGMOM's annual tea party invitation. Taking advantage of this special period, Moda began to open invitations to this festival to New World. As the first external move, it is not only to show its strength and heritage, and to grasp the necessary forces in New World, but also to gradually connect Wanakuna's influence to the right track, and slowly radiate to New World like a tea party. In the understanding of the world. Just as preparations were made in various townships, especially in the core flower capital area, the invitation letter for this flame festival was gradually delivered to the hands of many forces scattered all over the New World under the distribution of Shadow Guards. This will undoubtedly be the most important event in New World for some time to come. All of a sudden, apart from the tea party, it seems that there may be an additional so called fire festival every year. People can't help feeling that the two four emperors are each grabbing the once a year event to collect profits. It is undeniable that, from a general point of view, Wanakuna's Flame Festival is more lively and diverse than Wanakuna's Tea Party. Of course, these are all superficial forms. Although I don't know the difference between the Air General's invitation to the Fire Festival and the BIGMOM's Tea Party invitation in nature, it will only be a problem. However, Wanakuna's strong color in the New World, especially the changes in recent years, and the huge profits contained in it, are clear to the leaders of the underground forces who have cooperated. What's more, this is the first invitation from Four Emperors Moda, which means that the young emperor paid attention to you, so naturally, not many people would reject this invitation. So, just like an invitation to a tea party, the leaders of various underground forces also began to prepare their time to participate in this unmissable scene. Of course, there are also some special forces that did not show joy after receiving the invitation letter. On Cake Island, the roar of Junlot Linlin resounded throughout the castle. As this bastard trying to disgust my old lady on purpose, burn this invitation soon. Yes, mom. There are also some forces that, after receiving the invitation letter, revealed a state of deep thought and solemnity. In North Blue, the house with the special sign of Don Quixote, there is a long table that can be filled with more than a dozen family members, and a family meeting is being held at the moment. The source of this meeting is the invitation letter in Da Flamingo's hand with the Wanokuni logo. Sitting on the main seat, his fingers tapped rhythmically on the table. After reading all the contents of the invitation letter in his hand, Da Flamingo couldn't help taking a deep breath and said, It seems that we have indeed received the invitation from that big New World figure. Hearing this, most of the family members on the long table were shocked, especially Rosinante, who immediately focused on the invitation letter. Is it really that Air General, Dover? The tall and thin Diamante immediately exclaimed. Is that the Flame Festival? Although it has not yet entered the New World, from the information sources obtained from North Blue, it is natural to know the main wind direction of the New World at this time. The first time Wanokuni was held to the outside world, the invitation letter of the Flame Festival issued by Four Emperors Moda. But isn't that only invited to the big shots of the New World? Why did they come to our place, North Blue? Seka said. Hearing this, Torobol immediately thought of it. 
Isn't there any purpose for us, just like B-I-G-M-O-M, that there are many people who are forced to become the subordinates of that monster because of the Tea Party? Hey. Hey. Dover, why don't we have an invitation letter this time, let's not go. Having been a member of the Doflamingo family for so many years, and finally living in the life of the North Blue II Emperor, Torobol doesn't want to just lose it. Yes, young master, what Torobol said makes sense, we'd better be careful. Senor and others also said out loud. After all, despite the fact that in North Blue they are already like the emperors showing off their might, in the eyes of the New World Four Emperors, they are at best a small role that can catch the eye. But for such a small character, he received an invitation letter together with the New World Forces, if it is not for a special purpose, who would believe such a coincidence? With the thoughts of Torobol and others, the emotions began to spread to other family members, and began to persuade Doflamingo who was still silent. This is something that Moda didn't consider. In his understanding, this should be regarded as a special honor, but he didn't know that because of the special, the timid and cautious Don Quixote family was directly afraid of it. No, this is already an inevitable fact. After several minutes of silence, Doflamingo said solemnly, if you regard this as B-I-G-M-O-M's invitation to a tea party, if you refuse, you should know the consequences on. Although the opponent's hand may not be able to reach North Blue completely, but the development of our family's business will definitely suffer a heavy blow. Moreover, entering the new world in the future will also be shattered because of this. Doflamingo does not intend to just aim at the goal of the North Blue Emperor. He is a little bit optimistic, anyway, sooner or later they will match up, and now the time is just a little earlier. And many of you may have thought about it, Moda is not the picky person that B-I-G-M-O-M is. He is so harsh in his salary. Now that he has joined Wanakuna's forces, he has not even surpassed ten ships. There are many people in New World who are more famous than us, maybe they just happen to be in North Blue and need us for something. Besides, the people who went to the festival were all New World figures. Isn't our family lacking a network in this regard? It seems that this is what Doflamingo said, and the Don Quixote family got rid of their silence and became active again. Seeing this, Doflamingo also issued an order. By the way, take out our collection and go to meet the big man. You must prepare a satisfactory gift, and maybe you can get a good value in exchange. Time, fleeting. The flame festival also ushered in the last few days. Because it was arranged in advance, all parts of the country were already decorated with lights and festivities, and a warm atmosphere like a prosperous and prosperous age was created in all parts of the country. All kinds of food stalls are placed in rows in the center of the street. However, it is different from what I thought. The streets in the center of the capital of flowers are filled with joyous crowds, but a large area is vacated, connecting the square directly to the general city, as a special reserved area, and the stage of the opera house is also placed here at the huge square above the stairs. At the same time, the ships that received the invitation letter also entered the orbit after undergoing inspections from the dark port one after another within the past few days, avoiding the baptism of the eddy waters in the big waterfall, down to the inner port of Wanokuni. Arriving from Giuli and other places to the capital of flowers in the core area, the acceleration of floating yachts equipped with electric energy has become the main way to carry guests. Of course, I also experienced a high altitude view. This is Wanokuni, it's really different from. There are not a few people who are invited to come here for the first time, especially when boarding the airship, with the arrangement of the journey to the capital of flowers, it is a grand sight to look down. Tourists line up, and various streetscape features are arranged in various township areas of the country. Looking into the distance, you can also see special areas such as entertainment cities, military sites, and research institutes. It's the same contrast with Cake Island, where the tea party is located. Compared with the relaxed atmosphere where all kinds of desserts gather, the annual grand ceremony can most directly feel the enthusiasm of this country in the background on the table. Until arriving at the capital of flowers in the core area, this grandeur can be felt even more deeply. In order to welcome guests from afar, there is also a palace that surrounds the entire general city in the city of flowers, like a meandering river spreading to the most prosperous areas of the city of flowers. The invited guests were all arranged to stay in the palace here. At this time, there were already many people taking a leisurely walk in it, chatting and paying attention to the various scenes in the capital of flowers. Of course of course, there is still a focus on the guests who keep coming. This is also the best way to reflect the gold content of this invitation. 
When the guests were chatting, they naturally appeared like a finale. The six most famous dark kings of the underground forces, also led by their guards, boarded the palace, and immediately greeted the eyes of most of the guests. It's really a prosperous area, as expected of a country that used to have a country of gold. Morgans is carrying a camera phone bug, and is constantly taking pictures of current events in various scenes of the flower city under the festival. Of course, Wanokuni is a treasure land, especially the superb craftsman skills. Now it accounts for one third of New World's arms and seastone production. Grain is one of the main export places of New World. You two still it's really lucky to make people jealous. As Feld spoke, his eyes were also looking at the two underground kings of the shipping and warehousing industry, and there was a hint of envy and jealousy in his words. After all, after connecting with Wanakuna's traffic, these two old rivals made the most profits. Even if they only accounted for less than half of the profits, they still made a lot of money. The two who were pointed out by Feld also smiled and said nothing. Although they can still communicate with each other in normal times, they will always be competitors when it comes to interests. Because there is that flying general here, I heard that the famous daughter country and the small people also live in this country. Stussy said, looking at the crowd on the street. If you look carefully, you can see the figure of the little people flickering on the erected Fulian. Those restricted areas. I really want to see the situation. If it is published in the newspaper, it must be very eye-catching. Morgans looked at the area behind the Flower City Mountains. He also knew something about the area divided by Wanokuni especially the amazon lily that is the country of daughters just like the fishmen islands attraction to men even more so if you want to think this way remember to decide on the next heir to the newspaper before filming stussy joked this is not a lie not only because amazon lily is a fighting nation but also because of the fact that wanokuni has a strong background although they are not big figures on the stage in new world don't underestimate their experience of being able to climb to their current status in the dark forces at least they are surrounded by security guards, and they can feel the extraordinary strength of them, let alone the strength arrangement in the restricted area. Among them, Stussy is the one who knows the most, especially after the intelligence personnel she arranged, no matter what means are used, they are still unable to understand the information in the restricted area. Of course I was just joking. After all, I'm a guest, so I still have to be measured. Morgan's Kaido, continuing to shoot from corner to corner, followed by a bird's eye view, suddenly said, that group of guys, aren't they the Don Quixote family from North Blue? Immediately, the other five underground kings followed suit, and the figures in pink fluffy coats, as the distance kept getting closer, indeed appeared in the field of vision. It was Doflamingo, who is known as the Sea Hooligan, and four main cadre members around him. It's really a lively country. Diamante said with emotion, it seems to be no less than the situation of a powerful franchise country. Whenever we can control a country, Torobol kept looking around. From the very beginning after entering the country, his vision was constantly being impacted. In such a comparison, he suddenly felt that the life of the two emperor in North Blue was just like that. She she she, don't show such a lackluster expression, Torobol, everything in the future is uncertain now. Doflamingo said with an evil smile, the country that once belonged to their Don Quixote, he must and must take it back. And. As if feeling the gaze, Doflamingo also looked in the direction of the palace. There, they are all talkers who are now masters of various fields in the new world. As long as they can make connections, his business can also start to touch the new world. Especially the emperor of the new world. Doflamingo looked at the top of the palace, the highest general city in the center of the capital of Field Flowers. Although he hasn't penetrated into the new world's underground realm yet, with North Blue's right to speak in the underworld, Doflamingo has happily chatted with many people. Until one day later, the much anticipated flame festival began. The city square located above the palace has already set up banquets for overseas inviters. The welcoming maids fired salutes and danced with unique music and dances in the flower dance hall in the big square. The female dancers with top figures naturally easily attract everyone's attention. It's not all tea parties with tables, just like the emperors meeting their subordinates in ancient times except for the empty seats at the top, each table below is occupied by their respective forces. Among them, the preparation for the banquet has been like a long queue, and each beautiful dancer is wriggling her body, while presenting various fruits, cooked meat, delicious wine and delicacies. I'm familiar with the way of the tea party, 
but I'm really not used to this kind of birthday banquet. Stussy smiled lightly and sat down in his seat. Facing the delicious food on the table, he just raised his wine glass and took a sip. Indeed, compared to the tea party, this kind of ceremony is more comfortable. Umit said, his eyes were already rolling over the dancing girls. The vast majority of the men present were basically like this, and they even planned to go to the girls' art center a few times before leaving after the festival. Doflamingo didn't pay much attention to these, although he wasn't uninterested in female sex, but at the moment, he was more concerned about the emperor who hadn't appeared at the position above. Bang bang. Bang. In the street below, gun salutes were fired, the cheers were accompanied by various musical instruments, and the voice of the general's prestige resounded through the sky. The invited guests immediately understood that the emperor was not in the general city, but at the bottom of the street. Through the video phone bug that can be projected on the big screen in the square, all areas of Wanokuni saw the figure of the general on the street, and immediately shouted happily, not only in the area of the capital of flowers, the Amazon lily who usually doesn't go out very much, while enjoying the ceremony, they also shouted. Just the appearance of a figure, the ronin performing acrobatics, and the singer holding the piano and singing all stopped their movements, and they were all inspired by the momentum, calling out General Moda in a deep voice. All the invitees can really feel the terrifying aura and popular popularity. This kind of rare world can only be achieved because of how popular it is with the people. After appealing to enjoy it to the fullest, Moda came to the birthday banquet in the inner square under another loud cheer. Everyone immediately stopped all actions and looked at the king on the main seat. It's really a gorgeous ceremony, and I appreciate your invitation, General Maid. Stussy, who is the most sociable, stood up from his seat immediately to say hello, and at the same time brought a waitress with a top-notch appearance and figure to Moda. This is the latest headliner of our happy street, named Natasha. Her dancing skills and music are at the top level. She is also very good in affairs management, service and care and she also has a special slippery fruit. With a bright smile, Stussy said, before this, she has never received any guests, so I plan to use it as a gift to congratulate the general on this festival, I hope you like it. It is also because of the characteristics of the slippery fruit that the skin looks very fair and delicate, coupled with the top-notch appearance and curves, almost all men have focused their attention on it for a while before. I thought it was Stussy bringing a new character to facilitate communication but I didn't expect it to be a gift for Moda. This bustard. Many people felt slanderous in their hearts, especially when they saw Moda's obviously smiling expression. Of course, I am very satisfied with this gift, and I hope you will enjoy this fire festival to the fullest. Moda laughed. This is a real gift, not some spy trained by the CPO to be placed beside the emperor. After all, even the forbidden area has not been infiltrated it is naturally impossible for Stussy to take such a big risk and directly place a spy by the emperor's side. So, a really good stunner, plus the accompanying slippery fruit moda, of course I am very satisfied. It would be great if you like it. Stussy laughed, and at the same time, he also grasped moda's preference. Not wanting this birthday banquet to be snatched up by Stussy alone, the rest of the invited guests immediately presented well-prepared gifts. Because it was the first time I met Moda, I don't know what gifts he likes. 8 Gate. The latest life equipment in a technological power, several famous swords in precision packaging, congratulatory messages made of gold and jewelry, rare and special luxury accessories, special products of rare countries, etc. For this, Moda accepted Ichiraku wholeheartedly, feeling in his heart, it's no wonder that Charlotte Linlin holds a tea party every year and the value collected this time is more than 800 million baileys. Not only did he win over the relationship circle, but the gift was not ordinary. Especially until Doflamingo presents a gift, the value far exceeds the level of more than 100 billion. She she she, respected General Moda, thank you for your invitation, and I hope that my gift can also satisfy you. Doflamingo said, with a proud and smug expression on his face, it can be seen at a glance that he has enough confidence in his gift in contrast. After signaling to the cadres to proceed according to the will of the road, Torobol immediately handed over the suitcase in Doflamingo's hands. When the suitcase was opened, a blue-white fruit with special blue patterns, like snowflakes piled up, was immediately revealed in full view. Devil Fruit. Many people were surprised. They didn't expect this guy from North Blue to take such a valuable item as a gift. Of course, there was also that guy Stussy. And then, 
with a look that seemed not satisfied with this, Doflamingo explained with a smile. This fruit is the snow snow fruit in Logia. Immediately, all the guests stared at Doflamingo with wide eyes. Not just devil fruit, but also Logia, the top of the three series. This guy is crazy to please the emperor. 8. The value of the Logia fruit, that for ordinary people to eat, can be rampant in the first half of the Grand Line. Especially in One Piece or Marine, the lowest level can also cultivate effective cadres and rear admiral to the upper level. Snow Snow Fruit is still not a weak element in Logia, which is enough to show that Doflamingo really spent a lot of money in order to please Moda. And indeed, Snow Snow Fruit is one of Doflamingo's under the top boxes during the years it has been operating in North Blue. Originally, he planned to use it to train new family members in the future, but because of this fire festival, he was more willing to use it as a gift to increase his impression points. Compared with the precious ability of the fruit, if there is a greater direction, he is more interested in the value it can bring to himself. Doflamingo is such a person who is good at foresight. The extremely precious golden fruit is also used as the top item of in the auction house after obtaining it, to attract big people to increase his reputation in the auction, not immediately to increase their power. Even the glorious Logia Mara Mara fruit is willing to release it as bait to achieve his purpose. In order to gain a firm foothold in New World, he must take the ride of Moda's era. And Moda, who originally wanted to use Doflamingo's resources, did not expect the other party to give such a big gift more steadily. Naturally, I don't want it in vain. Moda raised his head and smiled and said, I like this gift very much, I left it after the ceremony, and I just want to talk to you about something. Hey hey hey, my pleasure, General Moda. Doflamingo triumphantly Kaido, then handed the suitcase to the maid who stepped forward, already looking forward to what Moda said. If you can really catch up with the premier New World Emperor, this fruit will be worth it. The gift giving still continued, but after the height of Doflamingo's gift, there is no doubt that the many well prepared gifts behind have become lower than usual. But Moda naturally didn't make a smile on anyone, and still accepted them one by one with satisfaction, but obviously everyone could feel that Moda didn't specify other forces to talk after the ceremony. It's like winning the first place among the gifts, and the seemingly seemingly reward has been obtained by Doflamingo's side. The gazes of many guests then shifted to the Don Quixote family, with jealousy, dissatisfaction, surprise and other gazes overwhelming. Dissatisfied with his good performance compared to others, jealous that he may change from the status of North Blue Soil Emperor. Even if the Emperor of the New World just gave a banner or a promise, it would be enough to bring about huge changes in the underground forces on the dark side. The unspoken gift-giving session ended, and the birthday celebration started again enthusiastically. This time, unlike the restraint that Moda did not have before, all parties were either elegant or passionate, and began to enjoy the abundant specialties on the table. Of course, this flame ceremony is not just as simple as a birthday banquet. Moda waved his hand, and the dancers and singers on the stage immediately understood. Since it's a birthday party for celebration, how can there be no good show, right? Most of the guests didn't understand why, but the frequency of nodding was consistent. Without any movement, just under the thought, everyone discovered that behind the mountain behind Moda, several floating sky islands suddenly flew high into the sky, and then a picture corresponding to the inside of the floating sky island was projected to the banquet party here the huge stage. The content of the screen has already been built into a huge martial arts arena. This is. Morgans couldn't help asking and at the same time quickly took out a pen and paper to record after shooting. Every time the flame festival comes, in order to adapt to the lively atmosphere, Wanokuni will hold the same annual competition. Anyone with strength can participate. Through the competition, the top two with the best strength will be awarded by me. A well-prepared prize. Moda said openly, and the projection screen quickly transferred to the prize area. This is. The guests couldn't help but exclaimed when they saw this, because there were two devil fruits piled up in the picture. Immediately afterwards, he looked at the category written on the fruit, and his shocked expression became more obvious. Paramecia sour fruit and Narain fruit phantom beast great entrance form. Not to mention the value of devil fruit itself, especially the rarer phantom beast species than Logia. Doflamingo's smug smile froze, and Stussy asked in surprise, are these the prizes you prepared? Of course. Those who are capable live here, and if they can win in this, they are eligible to enjoy the right to control the rewards. 
Mo De laughed and said. The Logia will also be put into it as a future prize. Of course, the prizes are not limited to these. You can get a condition that I can accept, and you can also get a knife crafted by Wanokuni that is far beyond the level of a good knife. Famous sword. When everyone heard the words, their expressions changed, and more or less greed poured out. It's really an exciting reward, and it makes people want to join your country, General, Stussy said. Immediately someone responded, and the people present were not fools. Although they became greedy, they also knew that this kind of competition was an alternative way to cultivate their own power, and they would not allow outsiders to join in. At this time, dazzling thunder lights up on the screen, as if for this lively festival, once again rendering the scene of the highlight coming. It was full of crackling electric currents and fell on the fighting platform. Under the terrifying thunder, a beautiful girl who was nearly 13 years old gradually condensed into a shape in the flickering lightning particles, and walked out of it without any influence with a mace in her hand. The extremely exaggerated thunder pillar, the elemental features. No way. It hasn't appeared in nearly a hundred years, the thunder fruit that is said to be the strongest logia fruit in the legend. Morgan's eyes widened, and he shouted exaggeratedly like a commentator. The same is true for the rest of the people. In fact, the flame ceremony started less than an hour ago, and everyone has been shocked no less than three times. Thunderfruit, the top logia with the same reputation today, is the three monsters cultivated by Marine today, and those are the veritable highest combat power of Marine in the future. Moda, or Wanokuni in other words, is so blessed, not only to have a phantom beast as a gift fruit, but also to have such a top logia subordinate. Everyone sighed in their hearts, the commentator of Bai Arena also introduced with a passionate voice. The royal court ban led directly by the general, Mr. Yamato, who has the ability to thunder. Under the huge screen, loud cheers resounded across the country. At the same time, Yamato shook his hands happily amid the cheers. And the person who is fighting is also Derek who passed the assessment a year ago and became a fighter under the general's command. A figure boarded the floating sky island under the early arrangement. This person is no stranger to the guests present. Arriving at the Grand Line from West Blue two years ago, with his powerful swordsmanship, he became the supernova leader among the pirates at that time. At that time, breaking into New World and successfully joining the Moda lineup was also reported by Morgan's first hand. Now that a year has passed, and it is still in the land of the warrior country, Everyone can predict that the opponent must have grown into a stronger swordsman than before. For this competition, there is also a look of anticipation and exploration. There is a good show to watch. Looking at this game, the guests at the birthday banquet all thought so. Of course, more people mainly want to see how far this girl with the thundering ability has developed this fruit. With the cheers of all the people, the competition started, and the atmosphere of the ceremony reached its peak in an instant. Swallowtail Liulian. After a year, he knew what a terrifying monster the 13 year old girl in front of him was, so Derek came up with full momentum. The swordsman's aura unfolded, the weapon in his hand flickered, and six paths instantly attacked, and in the form of a circle, he attacked Yamato from six directions. Crackling one by one. A frightening electric current covered Yamato's body, and an astonishing airwave swept away instantly and the ground under his feet was almost reduced to powder without any resistance. Holding the mace in hand, Yamato raised his right foot abruptly, but in the next moment his figure turned into a flash of light and disappeared, successfully defeating all of Derek's attacks. Thunder ate trigrams, and in less than a second, the flickering electric current condensed in front of Derek, and the terrifying electric current and hockey's mace slammed onto his body in response. Boom! Terrifying thunder instantly erupted all over Derek's body. With just one blow, the flowing hockey carried terrifying currents and completely defeated all defenses of the opponent. Coupled with the terrifying force, with his eyes turned white, Derek lost consciousness immediately, and flew out of Bidou Island hundreds of meters away with a roar like a baseball being hit. Then he was picked up by other people waiting outside, and was taken to the hospital for treatment. The winner of the first round is, Yamato Sama. It can't even be said to be wonderful, there is a kind of one-sided crushing. But the problem is that Derek, with this level of supernova combat power, can become a signature thug in many forces nowadays, but now he was defeated by such a young girl with one move. There was silence among the guests. On the contrary, this further shows Yamato's strength, terrifying thunder crying ability, and young but impressive strength. 
when he grows up, he will definitely be at the same level as the three marines. Moda. Where did you find this monster? Many people have this feeling in their hearts, that is, Doflamingo, who is arrogant, looks at Yamato, who is much younger than himself, and even has a difficult idea to deal with. What a joke, he couldn't help cursing secretly in his heart. Immediately, enthusiastic applause resounded across the country, and Yamato happily shook his hands at the projection phone bug again and smiled back. From the terrifying monster that could kill with one move, he suddenly turned back to a cute girl. Under the accepted common sense, Yamato's reputation has naturally increased a lot in the folk culture that worships the strong. The screen then changed, and after the number one island was firmly established by Yamato, the two figures of the number two island had already stood there. It was a gentle man wearing round glasses, and the other one, who was no stranger to the guests present, was the famous former vice admiral, Momosagi, Gion, who betrayed Marine a while ago. Seeing Gion appearing on the stage, the expressions of Stussy and Rosinante changed, and they immediately paid attention to it seriously. Everyone was focused on the big screen, only Morgans talked to himself excitedly, and at the same time recorded the movements in his hands without stopping. The next is the second venue, the two most famous swordmasters in Wanokuni today. Famous masters, Master Shimotsuki Koshiro, who is the most skilled swordsman except Mr. General. As well as Lord Gion of Shogun Gobabin, who defeated the famous Yushimaru and Lord Yasui successively in Kendo, and is undoubtedly the most female swordsman in China. Samurai and Kendo are the most representative of Wanokuni. Especially the two who are currently the most famous under the king, they cheered even more than island number one. On the other hand, Gion and Koshiro felt a little helpless in their hearts. After all, they did not come to the competition arena voluntarily, and they were not interested in the prizes for the time being. The former is only interested in the ability to enhance his flexible and changeable talent, while the latter is only focused on the talent of swordsmanship. The reason why I came to this stage is of course for the purpose that Moda wants to show. After all, it is the first time that this year is the first time that there is a competition in the festival. Although she didn't take the initiative, Gion looked at Koshiro, she really wanted to have such a contest with him again. This is the second person in Wanokuni who completely overwhelmed her in Kendo after Moda. Then, the competition begins. The moment the words fell, swish. Gion's figure suddenly disappeared in place, at a speed that even a phone bug under a sophisticated high precision instrument could hardly capture. After leaving behind after images, in the blink of an eye, you can see Gion holding the golden pira, coming to the sky above Koshiro, and attacking with a sharp slash. You are indeed the fastest kendo among all the swordsmen I have ever seen. I am very curious, Gion. What will happen when you become the great swordsman the general mentioned? Koshiro said, the next moment, the words of Hidaoyi suddenly came out of the sheath. Koshiro quickly cut out the blade, accompanied by a chilling sword force, and rushed upwards, and the blow from Gion Slash was fierce hit into one place. Boom. A violent airflow was set off around, and countless sand and dust were raised from the ground and spread in all directions, just like a sandstorm when the end comes. Under the impact of the aftermath, the ground was directly torn apart by the earthquake. Even if it is not a personal experience, just a screen map is enough to show the superb swordsmanship of both sides. Koshiro resisted the attack, and the next moment, it seemed that his whole body had entered a more sublimated state, and a shock of momentum forced Gion to retreat. Gion's heart trembled, it was this change that caused her to lose immediately in the fight with the opponent. That is the watershed between the top swordsmen and it is also the bottleneck she is stuck in now, the realm of great swordsmen. Then, it's my turn to attack. After Ko Shiro finished speaking, he swung a slash towards Gion. An ordinary attack, but in the next moment, a mighty sword energy condensed and fell down. In order to experience it again, Gion insisted on moving forward, raised the saber to resist the slash, and took a huge effort before accepting the move. But such a comparison, the gap will be clearly felt. So, is it a return to basics in the sense, Gion thought to himself. In order to expand towards a higher level of kendo, she has consulted Moda many times for this. The answer he got was that his own heart and mind were completely integrated into the way of the sword, and he could achieve a deeper understanding of the transformation of the sword's posture and be able to retract and release freely. Just like a swordsman, as long as he makes a move, the sharp sword intent on his body will be unstoppably displayed. 
but like Moda and Koshiro, they can freely retract and release their own sword power. It's just raising the sword to fight each other, without showing it deliberately, in the eyes of ordinary people, it is just an ordinary person holding a sword. This is still the most basic momentum change. At a deeper level, just like now, even if you don't deliberately use swordsmanship, every slash has the terrifying blessing of memory and potential. This comprehension, under the teaching of Moda, is not only in words, but also in application, she now somewhat understands it. Momosagi snorted, shook her hair, the rope that tied her hair fell loose, her black hair was unrestrained and fluttered behind her head with the wind. Then seriously do it again. After slightly adjusting the breathing rhythm, I followed the state of mind and perception taught by Moda. Gion let out a low cry, and drew his sword again, all the auras in his body condensed into one at this moment, sharp and swift, and vaguely, it seemed that someone's sword was united. One knife flow broke and cut. In Setsuna who drew out the sword, the infinite sword momentum covered Jinpira, and a light blue light suddenly appeared, and the sword momentum formed a huge and unparalleled sword energy, and it slashed towards Koshiro in a mighty way. Go. To be able to condense the energy of the whole body to such a degree, and thus to cut out such a sword. It seems that Gion, you have already figured out the rough threshold, and it is only a matter of time before you become a great swordsman. Koshiro said, but he didn't neglect, he slashed with the same sword force and greeted him. Hum. Wherever the sword she passed, everything seemed to be divided into two by it, and even the surrounding void trembled faintly. Call. The air explosion sound of sword impact directly erupted above the capital of flowers. And under the impact of the berserk airflow, the ground around the training ground collapsed directly. Under the eyes of countless people, the island arena with a width of a kilometer was directly divided into two by the sword energy when the two of them collided and reversed their attacks. A complete island was forcibly cut into two halves by the collision attack of two people into a floating arena. The picture is still broadcasting, Gion and Koshiro each occupy one side of the huge split fighting ring, it seems that they are evenly matched. It's just that Gion took back Jinpira, thinking that the result of this time was that she was defeated. Gion, who was not interested in this fight at first, knew the gap between the two after achieving his goal of using swordsmanship, so he gave up decisively. So, the cheers and applause resounded again under the announcement of the announcer. Unexpectedly, apart from you, General Moda, Wanokuni has such powerful warriors, is it worthy of being called a famous warrior country? Stussy complimented, but he paid full attention to Koshiro in his heart. When he was a marine, Gion had the title of the number one swordsman in the marine in the future. This is regardless of gender, which is enough to imagine his talent and strength in the way of swordsmanship, especially after his promotion to vice admiral, this is even more so. It is a certain situation. There are only a handful of marines who can compete with Gion in terms of swordsmanship. But now, it was unexpected that Gion, the top swordsman in the original marine, was defeated so directly. Although there is no obvious fierce competition, anyone with a discerning eye can see that Gion has always been at a disadvantage in the competition from the very beginning. Isn't this a matter of course? After all, it is the country of dragon-slaying warriors. Doflamingo also pursued. He is different from others, no matter whether he is jealous or fearful, he is more willing to see Wanakuna's strength when he takes the line of Moda. Moda smiled and didn't answer, this is what he wanted. The arena is still going on, and the level of excitement, although not as exciting as the battle between the top swordsmen, is still eye-catching. Like Derek, the new and old pirates who have passed the assessment and joined Wanokuni for a period of time also showed their strength far beyond the previous level. At the same time, there are talented swordmasters and physique masters cultivated by Wanokuni themselves, each showing their own strength and talent in a variety of tricks at the grandest festival of the year. Of course, what attracts more attention is the existence of the name of Shogun Yuabin in the introduction. Lafitte, Black Maria. Lafitte, who showed the fruit of the powerful phantom beast, won the arena in a weird and devastating way. Already five meters tall, Black Maria, who became more oppressive in the form of an ancient rose tarantula, also showed terrifying abilities in hockey who stood in a ring and was greatly cheered by the geisha girls. Among them, Hancock, Perona and others did not show up. Apart from being secret weapons, of course it was because Hancock's strength did not meet the standard. He wants them to stay silent, to the extent of being a blockbuster, 
and Moda will not arrange for them to show in front of everyone before their strength is overwhelming. Anyway, since then, every year at the festival, he intends to make this the most famous conference of the year. So there is plenty of time for several potential stocks of Moda's close ministers to grow up. After all, it is a conference for display at the festival, and the strength of the contestants is far from being as deep as the monster level of four emperors. In addition, the personnel have already passed the strength screening. Halfway through the birthday banquet, the competition had already entered a white hot stage. The excitement and intensity have made many people focus on the huge screen, completely forgetting to enjoy the delicious food and wine at the banquet. In the end, under the fierce collision of thunder and swordsmanship, Koshiro undoubtedly became the first place, and the competition for the first flame ceremony came to an end. According to Morgan's unceasing record, all parties involved in this competition will surely occupy the headlines of the New World and even the world in a few days. In particular, Yamato, who has demonstrated super talent and top level fruit ability, may be even more famous than Koshiro at the age of 13. It also means that the royal court Banzhong of General Moda's forces will also begin to gain fame in the New World. Although it is essentially different from pirates, it is not a status symbol that is equal to those of the disasters, generals, and team captain Shi Ji Zhao in the Four Emperors. It can be said that Morgans returned with a full load of information. After the flame ceremony ended, he returned to the newspaper office first and wanted to extract the information and publish it as the headline newspaper again. The same is true for Stussy, she didn't plan to stay too long, especially after the competition, she felt Wanakuna's strength in a deeper level, and she needed to rush back to report some content. Seeing this, the rest of the people also began to think about returning, but before leaving, many people showed some kindness to Doflamingo, both openly and secretly. For this reason, the Don Quixote family is also happy and proud, and they have a feeling that they are about to reach the pinnacle of life. This is especially true for Doflamingo, but he just stayed for one day, and when he met Moda in General City the next day, this idea was immediately swept away. Along the way, Doflamingo looked warm and warm on the surface, but in fact he was already jumping for joy in his heart. If this was not Moda's territory, he would even want to laugh out loud. The flying general who will definitely carry out the flame ceremony in the future, naturally, what he promises in front of everyone is most likely to be beneficial to him. After all, he was also the one who presented the great treasure under the eyes of everyone, and was regarded as the one who won the leader. So, along the way, he was already thinking about what kind of benefits would fall on him. Lord Doflamingo, the general's office has arrived. Doflamingo nodded, and at the same time looked at the red-haired beauty in front of him, but it was delivered to Moda last night, and now he has become a housekeeper who is proficient in this environment. It is indeed the character that the old bustard raised with the top card, and it also comes with slippery fruit. No matter how practical it is, just thinking about it can make people laugh evilly. It's a pity that this gift is still not as valuable as the snow snow fruit he gave. Doflamingo pushes open the door and goes. A layer of haze enveloped Doflamingo's heart. In an instant, he felt as if he had fallen into an ice cellar, his body temperature dropped sharply, the hairs on the back of his head and neck stood on end, and his blood seemed to be freezing. Perhaps an invisible comparison between conquerors. He can feel it. It was as shocking as an ant looking straight at a mountain range. Doflamingo sucked in a breath of cold air, then turned his eyes hard to the man sitting at the head, and really felt the power of the emperor. There is also a tall girl with black fair hair in the room, she is a person who did not appear in the competition last night. It was far more beautiful and delicate than the maid outside, but in this atmosphere, a powerful conqueror's hockey suddenly burst out and rushed towards the surroundings. This made Doflamingo a little surprised, but his own conqueror's hockey exploded uncontrollably to contend with it. Then under another wave of hockey diffusion, the force of resistance is like paper, tearing and shattering. Doflamingo couldn't help taking a few steps back, Hancock snorted coquettishly, and fell back to Moda's side pretending to be weak. What is the origin of this tall girl? who not only possesses conqueror's hockey, but can even compete with herself. Why didn't you see the other party appearing in the competition last night? Compared with this doubtful thought, Doflamingo was even more frightened by this situation, and even felt confused. Shouldn't the flying general be rewarding him for his benefits? Why is it a situation of putting pressure on him? Could it be that my judgment is wrong? Mo, General Moda. Doflamingo didn't know the situation, 
but he could only utter a few words with difficulty, showing some fear under his sunglasses. Having conquerors hockey, it seems that you are not really at the level of a North Blue King. Moda's voice was flat. But this kind of plainness made Doflamingo's heart suddenly tighten. Cold sweat ran down the cheeks, sliding down. Doflamingo made a little mental preparation, took a deep breath, and complimented. Compared to General Moda, I am still far behind, and I am worthy of being the overlord of New World. As soon as he said this, it seemed as if he had answered the answer correctly, and the depressing aura slowly dissipated. Doflamingo couldn't help but feel relieved, but he didn't dare to say anything more. Now he doesn't even have the joyful mood he had when he first came. You must be strong enough to take over the arrangement I intend to entrust to you. Otherwise, if something goes wrong, I will not be responsible for that guy Kaido making trouble for you. Moda said that he didn't mean to hit a stick and give another jujube, but he really wanted to test what level Doflamingo is now, and he didn't care what the other party's fragile heart would think. Hearing this, Doflamingo's tense heart immediately relaxed a little. Perhaps, it should be, mostly a good thing. And what he just heard correctly, it seems that this arrangement also involves another new sea monster. I wonder what arrangement the general is talking about. Doflamingo asked. At this time he didn't take care of everything. He originally thought about taking the line of Moda, so that New World could develop it in the future. But this involves another emperor, if the difficulty is too great, and everything in oneself is put on it instead, then the loss outweighs the gain. The devil fruit transaction between me and Kaido will be carried out in half a year, with you as the middleman, and then you will be responsible for the operation, confidentiality and security between the two parties. Moda finished the arrangement, showing a slightly deep smile. What do you think? She she she. After listening to the content, Doflamingo caressed his glasses involuntarily, showing a characteristic laugh. Of course Russia is very happy. He thought it was something that would be related to Kaido's trouble, but he didn't expect it to be business transportation. It's not that he brags, although the scale is not as good as that of Umit, the king of sea transport, but in terms of the safety and thoroughness of the escort, he is not much weaker even in New World. What's more, if he is personally responsible for the golden route involving two big figures, he won't have any complaints. Sure enough, what fell on me was good. It is still what you want even the huge benefits that exceed expectations. Aren't you curious, transporting devil fruit? While Doflamingo was excitedly imagining, Moda followed up. For a moment, Doflamingo didn't understand the meaning of these words, but following Moda's next words, his expression changed from excited to startled. After half a year, the number of fruits that need to be transported is about 18. After that, it will be transported once a year, and the number is also increasing year by year. There are some Doflamingo who have experience in auction houses, but they know the precious quantity of devil fruit, no matter what its quality or ability is, as long as it is devil fruit, it has always been a symbol of price but no market. But Flying General said this, as if devil fruit grew in his house, and the number would increase every year. This situation made it difficult for Doflamingo to calm down. Hee <laughs> hee, this is the key to this deal, Doflamingo. Moda stared at Doflamingo, even sunglasses could not block the direct gaze. Can you understand the so-called man-made devil fruit? Hearing this, Doflamingo's eyes widened immediately, and his body trembled slightly because of shock. After Moda roughly said, after Doflamingo's brief shock, the smile on the corner of his mouth became more and more obvious. Is it actually such a situation? For a while, he actually had a detached understanding of the state of mind. Selling slaves and arms are all outdated businesses. Sure enough, this is the sea where the times are smiling, ah. This is the real product of the new era, and as the middleman who undertakes this line, it means that he is honored to be able to board the ship of the new era. Google. Google. Because of his excitement, several veins jumped out of Doflamingo's forehead, and at the same time he quickly assured, I will definitely act as the middleman of this line. When the production chain is truly mature, Kaido will not be the only company in the future. Moda sat on the main seat, resting his elbows on the armrest, resting his head slightly on the back of his hand, looking straight at Doflamingo. You will be responsible for the profits of the first floor. External operations, presumably in the future, you will be able to occupy a corner in the new world's underground world. He didn't go any further, but tapped the chair lightly. Needless to say Moda, Doflamingo also knows that this is a condition that needs to be paid separately. 
the benefits of the operation chain are too great, and he is in charge, even snow snow fruit, you are far from enough. I don't know what else the general ordered, as long as it is within our capabilities, the Don Quixote family will spare no effort to do it for you. At this time, ordinary people are direct surrender is the most appropriate answer. But as Doflamingo of the Celestial Dragons, there is nothing to say about his strong self-esteem. Even if the pirate group he leads is not strong, he will never take refuge in any big pirate, and will only choose, cooperation, the way. It is precisely because of this that he needs to take the initiative to speak out and transfer this answer to the value he can show. Of course, Moda knew that Doflamingo's arrogance was integrated into his bones, and he never thought about taking it into his pocket. After all, after this, he would not have any worries whether he used it or discarded it. Moda waved his hand. Some things, now you are just sitting firmly on the side of North Blue, and you are still a little bit worse. Doflamingo's expression moved, and the worry on his face somewhat betrayed his anxious heart. But for now, there are some things you can do. After arousing the other party's thoughts, Moda went on to say, I need the relationship network you have opened up in North Blue and Grand Line. Hearing this, Doflamingo's expression froze. He knew what this meant, which undoubtedly meant that the network of relationships he had operated over the past few years would directly become the most convenient prerequisite for Sauda to build his own power. In this situation, there is no doubt that his careful construction over the years in North Blue will be broken by the opponent. But, compared with New Era, this is all sacrificable and worth it. After leaving General City, Doflamingo took the four of them back and forth to the port in another area. It wasn't until he arrived on the ship and left the waters of Wanokuni that Torobol couldn't bear his curiosity along the way, and asked aloud. Dover, how did you discuss with that emperor? It really can be of great benefit to us. The benefit of the benefit. After Doflamingo came back, this was what everyone wanted to know about, especially Rosinante, who almost focused his attention on this. Hey hey hey, Torobol. Returning to his place, Doflamingo began to laugh unscrupulously. This time, we can say that we have completely grasped the future of the times. As he flicked his fingers, there were invisible silk threads one after another, allowing him to step into the air step by step. At the same time, the lines that hinder outsiders from eavesdropping wrapped up the flamingo's ship. Immediately afterwards, Doflamingo opened his hands, as if welcoming the coming future, and looked down at his four most trusted family members. She 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 she, do you know what I learned there? A real product of the new era, man-made devil fruit smile. It's like Doflamingo who heard this speech for the first time, and even the reaction is far beyond this. Looking down at the four most important cadres who were stunned and waiting for the truth, Doflamingo naturally did not hide anything, and gave the general information. The expressions of everyone also ranged from shock to disbelief, and then to ecstasy. Rosinante clenched his fist tightly without even noticing the cigarette butt dropped from his mouth in astonishment. His state of mind can be completely different from those around him. In this case, Wanokuni, who made such a horrible product, must report to his superiors. Doflamingo, who didn't know his own brother's betrayal, still said triumphantly, This will be a business chain involving the two four emperors, and I will be the middleman between the two parties. From now on, the road to the new world will be completely open for us. This is the benefit of taking the ride of the times. Torobol also danced happily. Hey hey, yes, we have two four emperors as backers at once, and the Don Quixote family will grow stronger for this. Looking at the joyful expressions of the family members below, while Doflamingo was happy, he did not forget Moda's soft and meaningful words after he left Moda earlier. By the way, Diamante, when you go back, raise baby five well. Wanokuni seems to have a group of scientists who specialize in arms and weapons. The interest seems to be no small one. Doflamingo instructed that next, he needs to do the things that Moda explained during the buffer period of half a year. Naturally, in terms of family members, it is better to hand them over to these competent cadres. This speech is undoubtedly the intention to give it away. For the big plan, Doflamingo is willing to give up snow snow fruit and even several years of operation, BABY5 is naturally no problem, not to mention that it has not yet reached the status of a major cadre. Hey hey, Sao. Torbol smiled and said, otherwise, we will be like that queen of the pleasure district, packing up their training, and that gift, the general at that time was also very satisfied. Doflamingo thought for a while, 
and thought of the appearance of baby five dressed up. Although she is still small, she is also a delicate and beautiful beauty embryo. Then I thought that Natasha moved into Moda's general city the next day. So he showed his trademark evil smile again, she she she, it's not impossible. After Doflamingo left general city, Hancock, who had not disturbed the conversation before, started to stick to Moda. This time she came from Amazon Lily, naturally to satisfy her longing. Now Hancock, who is about to be 16 years old, is being cultivated by the emperor of Gu Luoli Bodhisattva, and combined with the knowledge teaching of Wanokuni and Moda, there is already a vague voice of the next emperor in Amazon Lily. It also seems that under the training of the emperor, and after gradually realizing the fact that he is beautiful and beautiful, Hancock's haughty character gradually became more and more obvious. Even before becoming an emperor, he has already begun to raise his head to show his highest contempt for others because of his own beauty and arrogance. This arrogance, naturally, has also become a display that everyone thinks is beautiful in the Amazon Lily. After all, today's Hancock is absolutely and is the top powerhouse among the nine snakes. This is a talent that has been achieved in just four years. In terms of strength alone, even without the sweet fruit, Hancock, who has already mastered Conqueror's hockey skills, is no less powerful than when he became the original Shichibukai when he first went to sea. The reason why he failed to become the emperor is that he has not yet reached the age of adulthood to accept the emperor, and the second is that his strength is not yet strong enough to absolutely crush the crowd. After all, it is not only Hancock who has become stronger than before, but the Amazon Lily who has become a member of the Wanokuni border and the nine snakes fighting people in the country are naturally more than several times stronger than the calm belt period. In particular, there were many female fighters who, in Moda's opinion, were not weaker than Zhang Ji. High-level armed skills, as well as continuous improvement of militarized training, are the real training and improvement methods in Wanokuni. Master Moda, Hancock, who always looks cute in front of Moda, is now drawing circles on Moda's body with his slender and fair index finger. That monkey-like guy, and the people he manages, is it necessary for you to favor him? The innate coquettishness and fighting for favor are fully displayed when she is alone at this moment. Here, apart from Moda, there is no other man who can enter Hancock's eyes, not Doflamingo from the Wanokuni faction, and in her eyes, he has become a monkey-like low-level creature. Originally, she wouldn't take it seriously, and she wouldn't explore what Moda did, but it was because of a woman named Baby Five that Hancock was concerned. Her goal has changed from becoming the emperor of Amazon Lily to being able to match the status of a general, in other words, the status of the general's wife. Especially because of the advanced and rich knowledge of Wanokuni, as well as the geisha girls and even the maids in the general's castle, Hancock understands more and thinks more than in the original book. The only one who can compete is Hancock's most concerned opponent Yamato. After excluding Maria, who is going to be the number one geisha around Moda, Kazuki, who is in charge, and Robin, with her arrogance, other women don't look down upon her, especially Perona, who has a strong mouth. But these are all known opponents in recent years, and the unknown situation, such as Guillaume who came for the first time at that time, and the baby five who did not show up, Hancock will definitely pay special attention. Also knowing Hancock's thoughts, Moda said, don't underestimate that guy Doflamingo, although his thoughts are too complicated and his strength is not enough to reach the top, but because of this, he can bring a good effect in terms of power operation. He knows the future, the one in front of him is just the Doflamingo of the North Blue Emperor, but in the future he can become a famous dark intermediary, and even eat both black and white, sinful fire. As for Baby 5 of course it is impossible to have your place in my heart. Moda said what Hancock likes to hear, of course, if you remove the, we, Hancock will be happier. However, her weapon fruit, when developed, can also become a truly extraordinary ability. You must know that our scientific institutions are also dominated by authoritative weapon experts. This sentence is indeed Moda's idea. The weapon fruit can freely transform the whole body into any weapon. The upper limit is so high that as long as there is a reserve of high knowledge and ability development, it may not be possible to develop advanced weapons that transcend the times. And it can also allow the group of scientists to conduct theoretical research and other directions, get more confirmation, and further enhance Wanakuna's military strength. Think about the development of Baby 5 under Doflamingo these years, such a fruit with a high upper limit, in the original work, it is only at the level of the ordinary new world. 
Not paying attention is one reason, and resource limitations are also a reason. These are all not a problem for Moda. And as long as the distorted notion of not being able to reject others is changed, she will definitely be a perfect maid and killer. So that's how it is, Hancock leaned close to Moda contentedly, enjoying the time alone with Master Moda somewhat intoxicated and obsessively. The beautiful and perfect figure that is growing more and more, because it is close to the bosom, let Moda understand all the time that Hancock has grown up in various senses. Concubine. Understood. Looking at Moda, who loves him a little bit, Hancock couldn't help but stand up even more happily, and because of the effect of the weapon fruit, he put aside his vigilance against BABY5. Except for Hancock's subtle vibrato from time to time, Moda enjoys the quiet atmosphere. Looking at Hancock's delicate and charming face, as well as his resigned mind, Moda didn't try to spoil the other party's mind, but he was limited to this enjoyment. Going further, he still wants to taste this proud flower when it is the most gorgeous and mature. However, when mentioning the weapon fruit, Moda couldn't help thinking about the direction of the Hancock fruit. Hancock who has already mastered high-level armament hockey, even without relying on the fruit, can become the top fighter in the sea with his strong physical skills, especially when the other party, like Yamato, also has the direction of extending to the tyranny. But with fruits, there are also more abundant fighting methods and the upper limit of strength. In addition to conqueror's hockey and good kicking skills, Hancock's greatest talent is her beauty that makes men in the world hard to resist after she grows up. What matches it is the sweet fruit in the original book, and besides that, there is another fruit that can have other chain reactions with its beauty. But before that, you have to get munch munch fruit, or dark fruit first.